Hello. Welcome. I see that Mo has already redeemed an introduction in Japanese and German. So bear with me. I felt like it'd be kind of a fun way to like get practice. So, um, konbanwa wa uh, watashi no name wa demi desu. Hajime mashite. And uh, guten Abend, ich heiße Demi und schon dich kennenzulernen. Tada! Um, I saw, hold on a second. Wow, I feel like I cannot see with my glasses. Um, anyway, what's up? What's happening? How's it going, you party people? So I should probably have my mic a little closer to my face hole. Um, yeah, anyway, so I added a few um, items for like channel points I thought would be like really fun. And I don't know, if you guys have any ideas for channel points, that would be like pretty dope because I don't know, it's like really fun. Oh shit, two truths and a lie. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I did take four years of German, so you would think that my pronunciation would be relatively decent. Um, okay, so truth to truth, poop, beep, boop, boop, boop. Okay, I'm like, I feel like I've been like go, 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 like all day, so bear with me, people. <laughs> um, okay, so two truths and a lie. Um, Let's see. I, hmm. I'm trying to think of them so I can like say them all at once so that I'm not stumbling over the lie. And then it's like super obvious. So let's see. I'm drinking it bubbly. Okay, they're so good though. Have you guys had the blackberry bubbly? The shit is fucking dope. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, okay, so two truths and a lie. I attended community college for two years. Uh, both of my younger sisters are taller than me and my favorite color is blue, like the color of the ocean. Go. <laughs> Bookish is a true dead has feet. I can neither confirm nor deny that information. Syriac, all lies. <laughs> I mean, one of them is a lie. Two of them are truths. Okay, so let's see. Ghosty thinks the blue is a lie. Um... Sunbun thinks the first one is a lie. Bookish thinks that <laughs> the lie is um, the my favorite color is blue. She thinks my favorite color is actually black. Um, ooh, Steven, hello, welcome. Okay, so just like, your sisters are not smaller than you. Well, no, 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 they're not smaller, so Okay, let me just say again, one more time. Steven um, has just shown up. We're doing two truths and a lie. So the first one, I attended community college for two years. The second one, both of my younger sisters are taller than me and my favorite color is blue, like the color of the ocean. Okay, everyone thinks that blue is a lie. Well, not everybody. But most of you think blue is a lie. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll reveal the truth. Well, I guess I'll reveal the lie, won't I? So sad you're gonna hate on blue. Ugh. This is so much fun. I was like really nervous about this because I was thinking like every time we've like played uh, like those like chat games that like Mo always like suggests, like it's always so much fun. And so, I mean, um, if you guys also 
want to participate, I'm not going to say no. Okay. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, no, I'm going to have to. Whoa, Max hosted me with a viewer. Hello, Max. What is up? Um, I don't really know what the difference between hosting and rating is. I'm going to be truthful with you. <laughs> but thank you for the host. Where you be at, Max? Show yourself. I want to thank you. And also, welcome. How's it going? What are you up to? If you're hosting, I think that means you're like not streaming beforehand. So correct I think um but if you were streaming what were you streaming and how was it um okay are you all ready for the lie that I just told you the lie is that I attended col community college for two years <laughs> I never like officially attended community college I took some classes in high school because I had like finished all my credits, but I didn't like go there for an extended amount of time. Both of my younger sisters are in fact taller than me. Um, and my favorite color is blue, the color of the ocean. Like that kind of like soft, like gray blue. That's my favorite color. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Just thought that was really fun. I know it's very misleading. I don't ever wear colors, but blue is my favorite color. Um, actually, fun fact, uh, blue is the most common favorite color in the world. <laughs> um, but anyway, Max, how's it going? Okay, you were not streaming beforehand. Okay, well, I guess, what are you up to? Like, how's it going? What's up, my dude? Um... <laughs> I felt like that would, I felt like that one would get you guys because I always wear black and like black, like don't get me wrong, black is like, black is up there. I love the color black. It's probably like blue, like top three is blue, purple, black. Those are my favorite colors. Um, cool. Yeah. See, blue is amazing. Everyone's favorite color is blue. Phantom's favorite color is blue. I think Ghosty, yeah, her favorite color is blue. I'm just telling you, it's the most common favorite color in the world. Um, but yeah, how's it going, everybody? What is up? Um, so today, wow, I'm like out of breath. I'm just like so excited. I think when I get like, like, uh, like worked up, I get like out of breath. Um, Steven, you don't like blue? I guess I can understand that. Dad doesn't like blue either. That's like his least favorite color. <laughs> Harley, my favorite color is black. My man, black's a good color. Um, okay, so I'm not a huge fan of orange. I'm, if it's an earthier shade of orange, I'm good. Like, not like bright orange like a uh, fruit like I'm not into that color orange like burnt orange like kind of like a I almost said mustard but that's like a yellowier color but like deeper like oranges I'm like okay with <laughs> yeah bookish I must have like hit my head or something I'm like losing my mind blue certainly cannot be my favorite color <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he, his favorite color is green. And when he was a kid, his parents always gave him like blue stuff and like painted his room blue and it was like blue, blue, blue. Um, and so I think that he just has some like deep seated emotions about the color blue. So, um, Sunbun, I'm currently excited. I'm waiting on patterns. Ooh, how exciting. What patterns did you get? I know you said like the ones that I have, but like, did you get the same ones or did you get just like similarly like historical patterns? Um, I actually looked for a couple of the patterns that I have and I can't find them on McCall's website. Um, I think McCall, just for reference, owns like Butterick, Quick Sew, Berta, Vogue, 
and then McCall. I think those are all like the same company technically. So, but yeah, I couldn't find a couple of the ones that I purchased. So I don't know if they're out of stock or discontinued. So, um, green's cool, but blue is on another level. Dude, I'm telling you green. I like the color green. I don't dislike the color green, obviously like nature is green, love nature. But I mean, as a wise man once said, green is not a creative color. <laughs> um, Oh, you just Googled Butterick? Okay, well, that's pretty dope. Um, but yeah, I hope you like love your patterns. They're like pretty fucking dope. I'm really excited. I'm I picked a new pattern for tonight. Well, like obviously, I picked like a new like set of patterns. I'm gonna do the archery glove that's in another one of the patterns. I'm really excited. I think I <laughs> I have like tiny baby hands, so I think I might have to alter the pattern. Um, I considered like prepping the pattern and like getting it all like squared away but then I thought that was kind of like no fun that like nobody would see me like alter the pattern um, and watch me potentially most likely struggle so <laughs> there's that um, let's see what is happening green is not a creative color <laughs> or flashbacks <laughs> um also a wise man or yeah, a wise man also once said I use my hair to express myself. So um also I love that fucking like Bob Ross emote. It's like my favorite. Um anyway, I guess let's go ahead. <laughs> Looks at my blue hair feels attacked. Um, when, like, I've always, like, dyed and, like, cut my hair and, like, done wild things with my hair. And when we watched that video, um, and that part when they, she was, like, or he or whoever, I don't really know. I don't think that thing has a gender. But, um, was, like, I use my hair to express myself. I felt so, like, personally attacked. Because that is me. Oh, shit, dude. Eight balls coming in with those hard hitters. Um, I think Mo should dress as a blueberry for Halloween. Um, for like a hot minute, those like, um, the fuck is that even called? Don't hug me, I'm scared. Um, those videos, that was kind of like the prerequisite for like a hot minute if people could be like mine and dad's friends. Like if they couldn't handle that, like probably not going to be a good fit. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, oh, I did see bookish said she's going to hocus pocus for the first time this spooky season. <sighs> Get ready for one of the most magical spooky season classics. Hocus Pocus is one of my all time favorite movies. Really any movie that features witches is my favorite, but it's better than solid fingers. Oh my god, I, Dead showed me this thing that is so fucking awful, that is worse than salad fingers, which I didn't think could even exist in this world. Um, I don't even remember what it's called, or who posted the video, but it's like, horrifying. And it's like, um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, uh, like a parody situation, but it's terrifying. Dude, hell yeah, Sanban. Love Hocus Pocus. It's like my favorite. Um, okay. Oh no, Rowan, are you leaving? You said have a good stream. Thank you. Um, I hope you have a good night. I'm assuming you're leaving us because you just said have a good stream. So I must have like missed. Are you in dead streaming tonight? Um, maybe I guess it kind of depends on like when he wakes up I know he like hasn't been sleeping very well lately so I don't know potentially is my answer uh ghost you've never seen hocus pocus oh my god it is a glorious movie I think that everyone needs to watch it um I'm gonna turn my mic up it feels quiet do I sound quiet or am I okay I don't really know um 
<sighs> Ernest. <laughs> um, Ernest scared stupid is the... N oh my god, what the fuck? I don't even know what that is. Is that like a French-Canadian thing? Um, I'm assuming so. I don't really know what that is. Never seen an Ernest movie? No. I have not. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but <laughs> I've never seen one. Okay. I just wanted to make sure because, like, my little, like, talky level thing looks quiet. Um, so I just wanted to make sure everyone can hear me and I'm not, like, uh, like, it sounds like I'm yelling from far away or something. Ernest is just a dumb American. Well, I mean, that's probably not hard to find. Um, okay, so I guess I'll show you guys, like, what I'm getting up to. So there's this glove. Um, and it just has, like, the three fingers on it, like, for archery. At least I'm pretty sure that's, like, an archery glove. I'm, like... 99% sure. The only thing is it needs D rings and I don't have any D rings at the moment, but I have a feeling we're not going to get to that part tonight because I have to probably resize the pattern. Um, so I'll probably just stop by like Hobby Lobby or something tomorrow before work and grab those. Okay. So let's just get started. I'm nervous because it's going to be like tiny. Um, the guy who says, hey, Vern, I don't know that guy. Well, um, I don't know. It depends. I'd probably have to see it to know. Okay. Let's see. Demi's a new Katniss Everdeen. Whatever. I do not like Katniss. I'm fucking offended. <laughs> Um, Neon Squirtle, what is up, my dude? How's it going? Oh my god, that is, like, the cutest little emote. You have, like, the best emotes. Like, always. Um. Gozi said, I got to put on elf ears yesterday for school. What? That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> I mean, I like Hunger Games. I liked the story and the premise of it. Um, I just wasn't like a huge fan of Katniss. I don't know. She just like didn't do it for me. Um, yeah, I'm the cool non-dramatic version of Katniss. Um... Why are there so many fucking pages of this? Why is this always happening? What letter do I need? I think I need letter I. Yes. Okay. Um, loved Hunger Games. I mean, okay, don't get me wrong. I loved Hunger Games. I remember reading the books. My One of my managers while I was reading it, was also reading it. And she was like, oh my God, you have to hurry up and finish the series because I finished the series and I want to talk to you about it. And so I was like, okay, I brought the book with me. I'll go like read it like on my lunch break. And I literally was crying my entire lunch break. I was so upset. Um, but I loved it. It was good. I like felt emotions while reading it. And that's how you know it's good. Oh, he was like the Adam Sandler of his time. Um, I haven't read the new book. Don't. Just don't. Don't say anything. Um, is this it? Just eight steps to, to sew this bad boy? Oh, son of a bitch. That makes me, like, so upset because, like, in The Hunger Games, the ending was... I liked the story. And as much as, like, Katniss pissed me off, I didn't... 
Okay, I didn't hate her character. She just fucking made me mad. But like the ending of that book, I've got some fucking beef with. It's not okay. Um, like, and I know everyone kind of has the same gripe with the Hunger Games. I don't have that gripe. I don't share that gripe, but I did not like the, like, few last chapter, last couple of chapters, maybe. It must have just been the last chapter. It very much made me angry. What am I even doing? Okay. I need 15, 16, and 17. Um, let's see. Demi's team capital. Dude, make those children fight to the death. That'll, it helps them build character. You know what I mean? Okay, so here is this pattern piece. Um... Wow, they really didn't they didn't really give me much to uh lengthen or shorten there, did they? Um I'm wondering prepare and apply backing to glove fifteen, band sixteen, each finger seventeen. What in the fuck? Okay, that must be like, 17 must be like a block of pattern pieces or something. Um, so the new do book, wait, what? In the new book, wait, what the fuck? No. Okay, I was gonna say that doesn't even make sense. Okay, so I would like to say the tips of the fingers are up here. Who? Who? Who has fingers this long? This is insanity. Um, how the fuck am I supposed to shorten it? Slash glove along slash lines ending at the circles. Edge stitch the glove. Pivoting at the small circles. Okay, but like, what the fuck, dude? This is so long. I don't understand. Um, yeah, I've got really, really small hands, Steven. They're very tiny. <laughs> I'm not a big person. Um, okay. Because I'm trying to think... Because it doesn't fold over. There's these like little... Oh, these are the finger pieces. Okay. So there's these little pieces that will like get sewn right here. And they'll like flip around for the like finger pockets. But my fingers will not fit there. Um... has that other line so there's like this line to lengthen or shorten here um but like I think my palm fits I think my palm fits okay but like the fingers don't fit I'm trying to think because what I would be willing to bet is my knuckles are supposed to be here like my big knuckles are supposed to be up there so this is gonna be an adventure okay um the other one where your fingertips are so here let me kind of show you guys like what's what's happening um it's gonna be kind of hard to see So, uh, okay. So these lines here are like my in-between fingers. 
and this line here is like for the grain line and that's if um that's just to make sure that it has to do with like stretch but i don't really actually have to give a shit about that because i'm sewing with leather and uh i'm pretty sure these little dots here are supposed to be like lining up with my knuckles and I've, I mean, I've never sewn gloves before, so I don't understand this lengthen or shorten here because usually you can take the in-between of that and like scrunch it up or fold it. And then that like shortens or lengthens whatever you're doing. But the problem with that is my fingers aren't long enough. My palm fits. So that's going to be like an issue. Uh gloves are actually meant for Edward's hands <laughs> or what is that dude with the super long fingers yeah salad fingers okay I guess let's just cut the pieces out and just see just see where we're at okay I am high key upset that they did this to me okay so I need this piece here and then there's like a piece like way in here I need, which is like really obnoxious. <laughs> okay. I don't know why they didn't put those closer together. Okay, I'm gonna cut this bad boy out. And then, whoop, goodbye. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut, stupid wait high key not low key oh shit I'm panicking <laughs> um okay so it's just like annoying that I have to like cut all the way like around like into this spot and they're not like next to each other like you couldn't have just like put it here like I don't understand Um, bookish eight ball is this a pattern for slender man lester ballad those are some serious blueprints for a uniform this is uh wait what this is not for a uniform hello lester how's it going this is just like a for a costume so it's like truly not that serious, but I take everything way too fucking seriously. It's just who I am. Oh no, I forgot to put on my little fucking this thing, my little apron. I was just so excited to start, I forgot to put it on. Um. Hello Rowan, welcome back. How is it going? Um, I don't know why a -ball did not answer you. That's so weird. Yeah, I've got a sewing apron. It's pretty cute. I have like pins and patches all over it. I really love it. Um, yeah, it's really fun. I have like enamel pins. I started like collecting enamel pins and then, um, that's where they go is on my apron. Okay, where are my scissors? Here they are. Um... Wait, what? Yeah, I'm just starting, Rowan. Don't you even worry. Kind of said routine, but cool and realistic. Hell yeah. I mean, Katniss was pretty realistic, I guess. And maybe I felt like I didn't like her because I... I don't know. It's like a weird thing. I know people are like, ooh, I relate to this character. I love this character. Um, I think I kind of related to Katniss, like, too much in, like, her whole, like, life and everything, like, her age. It was just, like, it was too fucking much. And I was like, you know what? I hate her. <laughs> okay, this is freaking me out. Um... Pins, huh? 
Don't know who would want those. Okay. Listen. I don't know how to, because the thing is, is we have to find like a manufacturer for pins. Because I don't think there's like a place we've found like Teespring, for example, or like Represent that like you can just show them like what you want and then they make it. It's like you have to contact like actual like manufacturers. So I think that's going to be something that's like going to take some time because we have to have like a design and like work with like a factory. And so it's like all like, I don't know, like legitimate. So um, do I love myself? I mean, now I do. Like now I care a lot more about myself than when I read The Hunger Games had a lot of shit going on at the time and when I was like younger when I was like 16 life was uh life was rough um so it just I don't know I just related too much to her situation it was too hard for me to like her um it was too so, like, it wasn't, like, the way that, like, ooh, Harry Potter, I like him, he's relatable. Yeah, he's gone through, like, tragedy and there's, like, hardships. But, like, also there's this really cool magical thing about him. He's a fucking wizard. Also, his fucking parents were filthy rich. Like, they left him a billion dollars. Like, I can't relate with that. So, but then that's, like, at least I can understand, like, why that would be, like, fun to relate with. But, like, Katniss and her situation... <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to relate to that. Um, did I have to pick between what boy I want to kiss? <sighs> yeah, I did. I mean, I don't know. It sounds like I was like one of those girls that had like lots of little boyfriends. So I was definitely always choosing between what boy to kiss for sure. Wait, what? Did I just fold this up and I need it still? Oh no. Oh no. What do I need for this one? I don't even remember. Help. 15, 16, and 17. Okay, I have 15, 17, I need 16. And I was in fact thrown into an arena to kill other children. That's not true. I didn't, that didn't happen. Um, okay, I don't need that. We'll keep these to the side and we'll try to hunt down pattern P16. Also Freya is like sleeping right like behind me and I'm like scared I'm going to step on her. Um, yeah, Steven, I was in fact a cheerleader. Um, I was a varsity cheerleader even, and I was the flyer. I was like, cause I mean, I'm a tiny person. So I was like the person they like threw up into the air. Fucking so much fun. Um, uh-oh, wait, uh-oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. Okay, I think I found it. Um, who did I choose to press my mouth hole to? Um, well, Dad was definitely one of those people. He was the last one I chose to press my mouth hole to. I thought he was the cutest boy in school. Okay. I also chose a lot of other stupid boys before him so there is that boop okay we have all of our little pattern pieces gotta save the best for last am I right you're so right it's kind of wild though because like at 16 when I was like fawning over this boy it's like I never would have imagined that we would like get married and like live the rest of our lives together life do be crazy sometimes 
<laughs> that is very dashing. Um, <laughs> I went to like an okay size school, I think. I mean, I don't really know. Um, I think we had like 1,200 kids that went to our school. I don't actually know if that's a real number. It sounds about right. Um, but I don't know. I f it was a decent, I don't know. It wasn't like we had 300 kids in the whole school. Oh, I feel like there's like something like so sweet about that. Go see. Um, I like once I was like, yep, I'm in love with this, this man right here, this boy. I wished that like he would have been the only person that I had like ever kissed. I just felt like everything else was a waste before him. Okay, so this is our strap. And this goes here. So then it's like this. She found dead, she told herself. This is just the right amount of stupid for me. No. He is one of the He's probably like the smartest person I think I've ever met. I mean, I can tell you right now that I don't like when people are thick in front of me. So there's that. Okay, so I think I need, unless these are supposed to be Okay, but how the fuck do I shorten this? I'm so upset that they didn't give me any instructions. <laughs> you gotta get practice before kissing the one. Um, okay, here's the thing though. Smart people always say that they're stupid. Stupid people do not think they're stupid. Stupid people think they're smart and that's a problem. What is this? Great, this is in French gonna put that to the side um is this my pattern no that's not my pattern where the fuck did my instructions go are these it i think this is it um yeah i had 17 year old panic because i'd never kissed anyone oh i mean still even if you had kissed a million people you could still not know what the fuck you're doing to be honest Oh, he's really super smart. I think he sometimes tries to undersell himself. He 100% does. Like, he's the only- he is the only person I think I've ever met that's like, I'm so dumb. Like, I'm such a stupid person. But like, that couldn't be further from the truth. Um, okay. But here's the deal. Um, why isn't it telling me how to shorten? Maybe it's in the front part of the instructions. It's just weird to me that it doesn't tell me what it intends for me to do to shorten it. Following general instructions. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, let's go back to page one and see what we can see. Oh no, bookish. I remember you said that you were so nervous you puked. I would be, I mean, I'm sure it's like a cute, like, like a cute fun story that like you guys like tell now, but I bet that was like fucking mortifying. I would've been like, this dude hates me. Okay, but like, I don't need the general instructions. What the fuck is happening? Um, I don't know 
I don't know what it intends for me to do. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna have to fucking... Gonna have to just say fuck it, we're doing it live. Acknowledging you know nothing makes you smarter. Jon Snow learned that. He, yeah, he still knew nothing. Jon Snow knew so much though. But like... He really knew so much. Unless... Okay. I'm just gonna cut this out. I'm gonna cut these little fingies out. And see... Um... See if I can just play around with that, I guess, and get them to fit. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, nope. Okay. So this is gonna go here. And then it's gonna go wrap around like this. Nope. These dots are not for knuckles, they're for this part of the glove. <sighs> I'm nervous. I don't want to do this. <laughs> but I also want it to fit my tiny baby hands. Okay, I guess we'll just play around with it. Better just do it than to fucking cry about how I don't want to do it. Okay. Um... I agree, Mo. There's so many, like, smart people in this community. It's, like, kind of wild. Just when I had lost hope in the world. Oh my god. Okay, speaking of stupid people, <laughs> has anyone ever seen the movie Idiocracy? Just curious. You know? Um, I'm kind of panicking. No, Mo. I don't feel like... I don't know. I am smart enough to know that I don't know a lot of shit. Because, like, I always, like, think about, um, for example, I don't know, it's kind of maybe, like, a sidebar. But I think it was, like, was it Dr. Seuss or something that was, like, if you measure um, how well a fish can climb a tree, like, it or whatever, something along those lines. I don't even fucking remember. I don't know why I'm even quoting it. Um, but it was something along the lines, like if you like measure how good like a fish is by how well it can climb a tree, like it'll never be very good or something. And like, think about that sometimes. Cause like, I'm sure there are a lot of people that would have a hard time like understanding like patterns and stuff. But it makes a lot of sense to me. I feel like I have a really easy time like imagining the patterns in like three dimensions. One of the best ways to make yourself appear more intelligent is talk less. The more you talk, the more opportunities you have to say something stupid. Listening to others is important too. I 100% agree. Um, sometimes I wish that on stream, like obviously it's not like super possible especially with like so many people watching it'd be like a bunch of people like talking over each other but um sometimes I kind of wish that I could like hear you guys talking because um as much as I like to fucking like just talk and hear myself talk I also do really like to hear people listen hear people listen fucking wow what a long day it's been I like to listen to people I like to hear them talk Damn, it really do be like that, don't it? <sighs> wow, okay. Oh, my little scissors. I forgot to put everything on today. How am I even gonna sew anything ever? Um, well, it's not the most information, of course. Um, important, but more about reasoning. I suppose so. I guess it depends because like aren't there different measurements of intelligence like um it's not like a test and I don't mean IQ test it's like um or am I making this up did I imagine this I feel like there's some sort of an intelligence test but it's not an IQ test don't say IQ test 
it's something else. Where the fuck? Or am I thinking of something different? I think I'm thinking of something different. Never mind. Boop. Um. Yeah, JD knows like so much fucking shit. I'm like amazed. I don't understand how one human carries that much knowledge around in their brain. I like actively do shit in my life to free up room in my brain. <laughs> like, um, I do not like to even consider the idea of remembering if the dishes in the dishwasher are clean or dirty. So I have a sign that says clean or dirty because I just feel like I can't use, I don't have enough bandwidth to remember if I did them or not. Rowan, I'm making an archery glove. I don't know if that's really what they're called or if it has a different name. Um, but I am making this guy. It only has like three fingers um, for archery. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it's fucking for. I don't know. Now that it, well... Wait, doesn't an archery glove have a thumb on it? Isn't it your these fingers for an archery glove? I don't actually know. I think it's for archery. I don't actually have any fucking idea. <laughs> I'm like questioning everything right now. Um, anyway, it's this uh, little three-fingered glovette, if you will. Um, I don't have any D-rings, so that's going to have to be a different time thing. I do have to shorten the fingers, though. So there's the three fingers there. And this is about where my hand lines up. So I'm going to have to <sighs> figure out how to do that. Um, ooh, this is one of the patterns you ordered. How exciting. Yeah, there's like lots of good stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if I should make it on stream. I really considered it because I wanted to. Um, but there's, I think this one right here, it's a mug loop so that you can hang your mug of like, you can't have like a full thing of ale, but it's like my horn that I have, my drinking horn. I could like hang it off of my belt. I really want to make one of those, but I felt like maybe that would be too quick, um, to make, but I mean, maybe I'll make it on stream. I don't know. I just felt like it was so like little that maybe it wouldn't be worth it, but I'm really excited about that one. Um, and the bracers and the greaves are pretty dope. Definitely want to make those. I honestly want to make all of these. This looks really cool in real life. I saw a picture of like the pattern made. It's pretty cool. Um, oh, okay. Thank you, Immortal. Cause I was like, had a moment where I'm like, wait, is it the thumb? But that doesn't really make sense. Then I was like thinking like, maybe the ring finger didn't make sense. I don't know. I'm a mess. Um, aren't you? You aren't dumb at all. Yeah, the. I don't know that we really have any dumb people in our community. I don't feel like dumb people could handle the amount of shitting we do on Harry Potter. If I'm being honest. Um. Oh, wow fucking out of breath today Jesus um you can do it you are outstanding wait what'd she say um part of my this that's part of my fear about streaming I have to fill space by talking consistently I feel like I'll say something dumb I want to go die in a hole well um <laughs> I feel like I can't really say that like you won't say anything stupid because I say stupid shit so much you know what I mean um and I know you have to like constantly just like keep talking to like fill up time but also at the same time um you can just talk about like one subject for like a hot minute you know what I mean like you don't have to just like talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and make it like consistent talking um especially if you're doing like art or something because like you're doing like another activity that people can focus on um I really do wish though that I could stream with music 
because I really liked that whole like music request channel points because I like that too because like if I am focused on something um there's at least like music you can listen to while I'm chopping up a pattern but honestly with streaming when you eventually say something that you feel like is the dumbest thing you've ever said because unfortunately it does happen <laughs> like I wish I could tell you that it doesn't but it does you just kind of like learn to like roll with the punches I guess you kind of just like let it roll off your back like a duck or something or whatever that word is um uh go see I'm sure there's probably copyright free music yes there is I would just have to like because what I wanted to do was use Spotify because I pay for Spotify premium and so there's like no ads and like people can request music and like that's like a fun thing but ooh, excuse me but since all of that is like copyrighted music I cannot use Spotify so I'd have to like make like a playlist I'd have to download copyright free music because I don't think there's like a music player for that which there should be if there fucking isn't um at least I haven't found one so or Twitch should like fucking partner with Spotify that'd be dope as shit but I thought about that as like making like a playlist of copyright free music so that I could just like put it on just press play and then it just like plays some like fucking chill lo-fi study beats or like whatever um yeah I agree if they partnered with fucking Spotify that would be literally the best thing ever um like because truly that was like so much fun like for the hot minute that I had like song requests on um, when people would make song requests, that was, like, really fun. Um, well, Amazon Music and Twitch, does that work together? Like, because I pay for Amazon. I was wondering about that, but, um, but I don't know. I mean, like, that makes sense because Amazon and Twitch are, like, doing a thing or whatever. Does Amazon own Twitch? Is that what's happening or are they just partnered? So I don't really know anything about anything. Um, good free of right music is classical. That's true. Um, I like classical music, but I feel like it's not particularly um, fun. Is that the word I'm looking for? like you know what I mean because I guess like my whole thing is like yeah there is copyright free music and I could certainly find it but also if I'm only playing copyright free music then people aren't like requesting songs most likely or everyone's just gonna fucking be like play free lease by Beethoven or something Um, like Mozart and shits. Yeah. Um, oh, Amazon bought Twitch. Okay. Oh, ghosty. Thank you for the lurk. Let me do this situation real quick like. Boop. Well, it's not really that quick, is it? I think that works if I do that. Nope. That did not work. Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> Fuck Freely's. Why? I like that song. Now I feel like attacked. Um, I think I'm gonna have to change that command for lurk so that it's like the target user. Or something. I don't know. Some sort of coding shit. Overrated Beethoven song. 
Well, I mean, I guess. That's just, like, your opinion, man. Um, I don't know. I like it. And that's that. But, I mean, like, as far... Like, yeah, I could play, like, classical music. Like, that would be fine. But I don't feel like anyone's gonna request... <sighs> request a song if I'm playing classical music. Well, some people might. But... Because that was, like, really my whole thing about playing music, was so people could request music. And it could be, like, a whole thing where we're, like, discovering music together and shit. Okay. I'm getting real sick of this pattern. Normally, I iron my patterns. I probably should have done that. But I figured that it wouldn't really matter since it's not clothing. But... Maybe ironing my patterns is a good idea. <laughs> I have to sit with a rusty nail reading a book with Moonlight Sonata in the background. Ugh. That would just be like gorgeous, I feel like. And like magical. Um, Rowan Weird. What's weird? You? But Turkish March by Mozart? I don't know. I might have heard that one, but I don't know that by name, at least, JD. Okay, so let's just, I'm really interested to see like this situation because it like wraps around, well, it'll be like this and then like that. I don't know if you guys can even like fucking see what I'm doing. I like to try on my patterns and kind of like envision it as I go. I feel like it's helpful or I don't really know if it's helpful. It seems like it is at least. Um, you have to read with loud music. I cannot read with any music, especially if it has lyrics. Um, I actually can't... Uh, I actually don't listen to music that has like coherent lyrics while I'm sewing or crafting because I find it very distracting. So usually while I'm sewing, if I want something that isn't just instrumental, I'll listen to Crystal Castles and then that's what I'll like sew to because there's hardly lyrics in those songs. I mean, there are lyrics, but they're not intelligible. Um, yeah, you've heard that one. Everyone knows that song, just not the name. Okay, that's what I figured, that I probably like knew the song, just not the name. I don't really know a lot of like song names or artists and like that kind of stuff, like in general. <laughs> I'm just like, have I heard this song? Yeah, sure. Like, even bands that I like, like, 50% of the time, like, I don't even know what the songs are called. Um, I can't read with science because I think too much and I have to read. There's loud noises. Like, when I'm on the bus, I can read well. That's, like, wild to me. That's, like, too distracting. If I need to be, like, focused, I cannot. I just can't. I'm like okay with like talking a little bit like this actually um sewing on stream and like doing this stuff I find it actually uh a little difficult uh to do um I just don't think my brain's good at like splitting up the bandwidth you know okay so these guys I need three of these bad boys okay Fun example. So remember last time I was like, why are there duplicates of this pattern piece? And it wants me to cut out one of each, but it's literally the same fucking pattern piece. So this piece, you probably like can't really read it. It's like hard to read, I think on camera, but it says cut three. You have one pattern piece. You use three separate times to cut them out. Hello. Um... I work in a sewing plant and I think I'd go stir crazy without podcasts or audiobooks. <sighs> I just, it's like dist 
distracting to me. Like if I'm, unless I'm doing something that's like sort of repetitive, like this, I feel like I have to focus on. You know what I mean? Like I might have to like take a second to like figure out this situation because I'm worried that like this is going to be difficult, like shortening up these little fingers. I wonder if I could just do something like this maybe? Yeah, so I might have to like actually stop talking while I'm doing this situation because it's like too much of my brain power I feel like is being used. Like if I'm driving, that's just kind of like, not like I'm not thinking about driving, but it's more like a visual thing and I'm like driving on the highway. So I'm just like driving in a straight line and it's like easy to focus, I guess, in that way. Damn, dude. Look at this shit. My fingers are so little. Wow, okay. I think that length will work though. Cause I guess to explain, so there are some marks on this pattern, these like little dots, these four tiny dots, those need to be visible and those like this tip of the finger like needs to be needs to stay that length and be that way so I don't have to change this pattern piece. And then they can't really extend past this circle down here because then it would go past the point of like my finger and then like this part would be like too far down and they wouldn't fit. So there is that. Um, I cannot drive and talk anymore. I get lost and run red lights. Um, oh my God. I accidentally read, read, ran a red light like months and months and months ago. I think it was like the first red light I've ever ran. And I was like panicking because like I was in my car and I was like driving back from the vet and I had Freya in the car and my boss called me and she was like asking me questions about this like coworker who she was like, did you like asking questions? Cause he was like doing some shady shit. And I was like panicking and like, I didn't know how to use, um, the phone call like console in my car yet. And so I didn't know how to like hang up the call after she was like done talking to me. I was like in such a fucking tizzy that I was driving. I had just taken my dog to the vet. And then she's calling me, asking me these questions. And then I'm like, I don't know how to use the console in my car. And then I just fucking ran this red light and somebody honked at me and like, thank the fucking stars above. I didn't get in an accident, but like, that was so horrible. And I feel like so guilty about it to this day. <sighs> These macaroni fingers. What? Um, doesn't that bottom part fold up? So this bottom part does not fold up but the problem is is this is like the palm of my hand which like fits like the size of this is like perfect this is my wrist palm but the fingers are too long so like I guess if I do this so see how like the palm is like the right size the wrist like lines up but the fingers are like too long so I just have to shorten those guys um that is why I don't answer the phone while driving um well see I thought there was like my boss like never called me and so I was like okay well why it must be like important because she's calling me and so I answered and like yeah, that was like a fucking shit show and it was horrible. And <laughs> I now know how to use all the buttons in my car. I've never driven such a like technologically advanced vehicle before. So, um, but now I know how to use all the buttons. So we good. Okay. Will this fit my little fingies? Let's see. Um, I 
could probably lower that bad boy like a tish. I don't know why I said tish. I never fucking say the word tish. I think somebody at work said it. Okay. That should work for my little fingers. Um, someone, okay, I see. Yeah, so, see, because that's what I thought, because right here, this is, like, so bizarre. I've never, well, I've never sewn gloves before, so I don't really know what's happening. Um, but lengthen or shorten here, like, usually, um... I've seen that in clothing where like the two lines like you can fold them and like match them up and that like shortens it but like my problem isn't the palm like I don't need to lengthen the palm my problem is like the fingers so I was just like well how the fuck am I like that's not my problem but yeah anyway um yeah then if it's not an emergency I say I'll call you back I'm driving yeah that's fair I was just like in a fucking panic, for sure. Um, I don't, I really don't know why I fucking answered. I guess I must have just thought, like, it was important. Okay, so let's see. I think that should do it. There. Cool. Wow. Now it's teeny tiny. Oh, well, we'll see you in a bit, bookish. Have fun putting the kiddos to bed. Okay. I don't know if this is... Oh, shit. Yep. Okay. I was literally just about to say, like, I don't know if this is dangerous, just, like, putting scotch tape on this fucking tissue paper, but... Then I slipped and realized it is, in fact, very dangerous. Um, I like to press random buttons while I'm driving. What the fuck? That's terrifying to me. I do not like the unknown. Mm -mm. If I don't know what something's gonna do, I don't like to fuck with it. I don't like... I just don't like the not knowing. Um, like, I will rewatch the same TV shows and the same movies just over and over and over and over and over again. And I remember like one day, cause dead like hates it. He always wants to watch something like new and exciting and like fun and whatever. But like, I just like don't want to, I like the comfort of just watching something I know. And this is going to sound so fucking lame, but you know, this is just who I am. So, uh, I, like, couldn't really, like, articulate why I just, like, never want to fucking, like, watch new shows or watch new movies or anything. Like, it's just, like, never really an interest. Um, until I was watching fucking Gossip Girl and one of the characters, uh, was saying how she likes to watch the same movies over and over again because she always likes watching the movie knowing how it's gonna turn out. And I'm like, yep, I get it. I feel the same way. There's just like some fucking comfort. <laughs> I like to be surprised. That's why I love this channel. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. I like to... Okay. I like to be surprised. But I don't like to go into something knowing that I don't know what's going to happen. If that makes sense. Like, I don't... <sighs> I don't love the like, ooh, like I have a surprise for you. Like it is exciting, but at the same time, I'm like, you should have just surprised me because now I'm going to think about it and I can't get it out of my brain. <laughs> it takes most energy and then I hate it. Oh my God, I know. God, and then it's like you just start watching something new and I'm like, is this going to be good? I don't even fucking know. Okay, we got our tiny, tiny little fucking hobbit fingers. Okay, my hand is like a normal hand, but then I'm like looking at this and I'm like, that is not a normal hand. That is like the world's tiniest fucking baby hand. <sighs> it's human nature, dummy. Well, I know I need to try psych. I just, <sighs> it's hard to start new shows. It's really fucking hard. 
it's so hard. I don't know how to explain it. And I don't know why it gives me so much fucking anguish and like stress, but it does. That is not a garbage. Where is my garbage? Oh, there it is. Oh shit, I'm a mess. Okay. Boop. Oh, I'm making a mess. Sorry, Freya. Oh, I disturbed Freya's slumber. Oh god, jeez, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> I just booped her right in her snoot. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. I'm like doing a thing right now. And you're sleeping right behind my feet. I know. It's like they know when I'm like talking to nobody that that's when they get a T-R-E-A-T. So he just like walks in here. Demi Bobemi Timi Goyidi? What the fuck? Coca float, float a co What are you saying? What's happening? Did you just boop her snoot? I did just boop her snoot. It was an accident, but she's like fine. She's staring at me. She wants a T R E A T. And she's staring at me. She wants it. Okay. What do you want? Don't look at me. I don't got nothing for you. Rowan, has your brain been taken over by an alien? What's going on? Ooh, you can tell this is brown. I was worried that this brown was going to be so dark you uh, couldn't tell on stream and it just looked black. But this is brown. I wanted to do brown little glovies. Oh, damn. So... <laughs> give her what she wants okay fine fine Freya you get what you want are you happy now you get two of what you want damn it really really do be like that oh that's the wrong thing okay bink 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 why is this not going hello uh oh my remote's broken help 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 I'm panicking Okay, well, I guess I'll just do it manually then. Okay. You guys ready to rumble? Okay, chill out. Yeah, they fucking knew. Okay. Everyone chill. Okay, so who was it? Sunbun and Phantom. You, well, I'm not gonna make you do any, no, stop. I won't make you do any tricks because I think your dad's sleeping and I don't want you to bark. So this time you're just gonna get it, you lucky dogs. All right, Isaac, one for you from Phantom, yum. And one for Freya from Phantom. Yum. Ooh, look, little pizza pies. You don't even give a shit that it's shaped like a pizza. Okay. Are you ready? This one's from Sunbun. Say thank you, Sunbun. Yum. Okay, Isaac, lay down. Well, not Freya. I don't Freya up. No, Isaac down. Okay, you're not the same. Okay, good job, Freya. You stayed up. This is from Sunbun. Yum. <sighs> wow, these dogs. <gasps> oh. Good job, puppies. You did it. Yay. How do I tighten this thing? What's happening? Okay. Okay, everyone chill. Cool. Yeah, I think Ash has gone insane. The jar is so cute. Thank you. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys, but it's like adorable. It says treats. It has like a little dog bone on it. And it has the word treats engraved on it. It's adorable. No more. No more. <laughs> um... Ooh, it spoiled those puppers. Yeah, they're pretty fucking spoiled, aren't you? You have a hair in your eye. Okay. Um, 
yeah, they will do pretty much whatever for a treat. But like, they don't know their names. You know what I mean? It's like when I say like Isaac do this or Freya do this, they both fucking do it. And I just like don't understand. It's like they lose their minds and they just like forget everything they knew. Um, this is so bizarre. What is Ash doing? <laughs> He's like freaking me out. Rhyme to how learning Ash's school in. That makes me want to puke. Okay, my little lame. I use my phone as like a remote to control the like scenes and stuff and it just like stopped working. That really bums me out. Boop. Nope, just not working. Okay, well, let me just like squint my eyeballs. There we go. Guess I can probably turn this off then if it's just like not gonna work. What a bummeroni. Okay, well, we'll just stick that there. Um, stream starting soon. Soon streaming. S starting stream. What the fuck? Anyway, um, I mean, I'm sure I just have to, like, restart the app or whatever, but I don't know, man. Ashley, what is up? Oh, no transcoding. I'll have to ask Dead what, um, what he did to, like, lower, not, like, lower the quality, but, like, make the stream, like, smaller in size so that maybe you can watch it. Um, because that's a bummer. I hate that. Okay. So we need... I'm wondering, let's do, ooh, will this fit? Ooh, just barely. And then we'll tape that down. And then we'll put that guy there. Um, but yeah, I'll have to talk to Dead and see like how to how to like not like lower I don't know what you would call it I guess just like make it smaller so that people can watch it because that like really bums me out and I don't feel like I've looked into that situation nearly as much so I don't know how it works okay let's do how the heck am I going to cut this out how did I do it last time? Did I just tape it down? I don't even remember. Um, disappeared into the dark woods. Um, <laughs> in the darkness, it's less dangerous. Damn, what a good band. Pattern weights. Oh my fucking god. I have these for a reason. I'm literally going crazy. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm so tired. I don't even know why. What? <sighs> Rowan, I don't know what's happening. Um. Mm-mm weird uh oh I I kind of want to try my rotary cutter but I'm worried that the leather is gonna be like too thick to cut through um Okay, well, I guess let's just put these down. Woo. And 
I am quickly just gonna trim this little guy. Bink, look at that. Excuse me. Rowan, what's happening? Do you need to update your software or something? Because I feel like that's what's happening. Okay. Let me actually do this one first, I think. Um, what the fuck? This feels like some weird cult shit right now. Okay, we'll just cut this one out. Um, and then everything is like so tiny. Oop, sorry Isaac, stepped on his foot. God, why are they like right behind me? Is that actually a robot and he's malfunctioning? That's what it feels like. Um, which also kind of makes me feel like we're living in some sort of a simulation, like confirmed. Hell yeah. Ooh. I really am thinking I might invest in those leather snips. <sighs> yep, <laughs> definitely malfunctioning. Um, but I think, cause I'm really liking, I mean, I've made that bag. I'm really excited about that fucking bag. I feel like I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna be really excited about this. So, I feel like I might be able to justify buying leather snips and potentially like a leather punch. Um, but yeah. <laughs> okay. I've like never been more more sure that someone is a robot than right now. Okay. Hmm. 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 I feel like I should probably do the little like embossing thing right now while the pattern is exactly where I want it. Beep. Nice. Harley, someone needs to reset Rowan. Yeah, does anyone know where the reset button is on that model or are we just gonna have to like figure it out on our own? You see darkness very, very dark on the way in and out, but what about upside down? Have you been reading Alice in Wonderland, Rowan? Is that what's happening right now? We'll just stick that guy in there. Boop. Okay. I feel like this is going to be, well, I think actually this piece will be the hardest to cut out. Well, I don't know. They're all going to be kind of hard to cut out. They're so small. Um, oh, Rowan, I don't know what to do with you. I feel like you're freaking out. I feel like you've lost your marbles. Yeah, leather snips might be a good idea. <laughs> okay. I don't know, it's looking a lot straighter than the other stuff with the 
um, the bag. Maybe Rowan's actually going through a reset right now. Somebody did actually reset him and he's like, <laughs> um, just like recalibrating. That's kind of what it feels like, to be honest. I love this new language. How fun. I mean, I don't know, I'm into it. Okay. Um, fun how? What do you mean fun how? You tell me what's going on and I'll tell you how it's fun. That, or some, someone slipped something into his milk at school. Oh yeah, you went like back to like real school. Like not real school, not that online school isn't real. I'm literally fucking attending online school. But um, <laughs> uh, you went back to school like in like person. How was that Rowan? I know you weren't like looking forward to it at all. Boop. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. That embossing worked pretty good. And this is like our little strappy do that'll go around our wrist. I say our wrist, but I mean, you know, the royal we, I suppose. Cool. Ooh, and this one, I mean, okay. It's not like the straightest thing ever, but... Um, it's not too bad. I'm kind of surprised how well these scissors are doing. I remember for the longest time, I thought I like needed these scissors to be like sharpened or like oiled or like something because they weren't like cutting right or like well. And these are like nice fucking scissors. And I was like really upset about it. But it turned out that just by cutting this like nut had actually like tightened itself. And so the scissors were too tight. And now they're fine. Um, fuck bullies. What happened, Rowan? Was like, like, I don't know. He's typing lyrics. Are you typing lyrics? The Queens we. Um, ever since I saw the Big Lebowski, I like to, uh, um, I always like think about that, like the editorial we, the king's we, or does he say the king's we or the royal we? This is the royal we. Whatever. I don't know. The Big Lebowski is fucking dope. I love that movie. Okay. Um, let's do this guy. I think I'll kind of keep, keep it at an angle just because that's how the other one was to save material, hopefully. Lyrics, what lyrics? What are we? What are she? And he you will never know besides me. To this day we will meet. Dude, I don't know. That honestly sounds like, um. oh my god, what is that Beatles song? That's like, you are me. Like, we are something and we are all together or whatever. That's what that reminds me of. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to position these little, little fingers. And then I'm thinking... Should I... Mm -mm -mm. I don't know how to cut this out well. Okay, well, we'll be fine. Um, What happened at school, though, Rowan? Can you, like, take two seconds to stop calibrating and just, like, talk to me? I 
feels like quiet. You know what I mean? Feels like weirdly quiet. I don't like this. Does anyone else feel weird? I feel weird. Okay. Um, I'm not 100% how I'm going to cut the fingers out. I might tape, cut, like cut the outside out and then tape down like the tips of the fingers and then like emboss it and then like cut down the embossing, I think. So I think that's the plan, Stan. Um... I am like truly amazed that I've been live for like two hours and I've like done fucking like nothing. Um, I'm trying to reset him. <laughs> um, I guess good luck. I think it might be hard to reset that boy. Well, anyway, Rowan, I hope that school was not terrible. And that it wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. Um, damn, I think, I don't know, I'm like not particularly excited about cutting around these because I think that's going to be a little bit difficult. <laughs> Obviously not succeeding. Yeah. He may be maybe lost. We may not be able to reset him. Okay. Mo is my foe, but crows are the foe of other Mo's. I don't know what that means. I truly don't know what anything you're saying means, but. Oh, geez. Um, okay, I'm gonna cut like straight across and then cut out these little squares here. Um, we're gonna need a new Rowan. <laughs> yeah, this one seems to be this one seems to be unable to be reset. Demi is a crafter, but which is she find out which maker she can be? Um, thank you. <laughs> Question mark. Okay, this is like dangerous. This isn't right. This isn't okay. Don't ever cut like this. I don't condone this behavior. <laughs> Rowan, are you taking a poetry class or a creative writing class? Um, ooh, this guy it needs a little trim. Boop, boop. Okay, and then tape the tips of the fingers down or a gibberish class maybe maybe that it's hard to tell okay let's just scooch this guy up I feel like he is losing it. <laughs> like this is it. He's broken. He's done. Oh my god. I'm a mess. <laughs> Why 
have to tape down the sides of the fingers so that tape doesn't like pull it up. Or I guess I could just pattern weight it down like so. I guess I really only need to do this like the middle or the pointer and the ring finger. Um, he's speaking the language of the gods. He's speaking in tongues. Somebody call a priest. Can anyone perform an exorcism? Just curious. No reason why I'm asking. <laughs> Not losing it anymore. He's lost it. Okay. Um, just light some candles. Ooh, I have a candle I could light. Let me just uh, help you out there, Ron. This could be dangerous with all this paper around, but fuck it. <laughs> Call me exorcist. Well, would y'all look at that? Candles for Kevin. Put these guys. Because I don't think there's anywhere I can put these in frame that won't be dangerous. Just put those guys back there. Um, is anyone a certified priest or holy person? Anybody know the Pope? Um, I mean, if anyone knows the Pope, I'd be fucking impressed. Um, <laughs> no normal priest can deal with this situation. You're probably right. Okay. And then I'm going to... We need the Pope for this. I mean, can the Pope do anything? I mean, not like can he do anything, obviously. He can like do stuff, but will he be able to help? Okay, that looks like it transferred okay. Okay, cool. So we'll take off the tape here. We'll just snip on down. Ooh, excuse me. Snip on down the embossing. Okay, hopefully it feels like a lot darker in here tonight. The Pope can do anything he desires. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's, that's true. I don't really know a lot about the Pope. I just know he wears that big old hat. Tried to clean up the side. I know like there's not really any, supposed to be any space between the fingers, but I feel like it can't hurt. You know what I mean? Where's the last, there it is. And pink. Look at that, we have little fingers. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot, oh god, I forgot to do something. Okay, hold on a second here, people. Um, we need Jesus for this case. I'll call up my lawn guy. Oh my god. Uh-oh, can I get this off? I probably can't. It's probably gonna rip it. Uh-oh, spaghetti on. Uh-oh, I'm panicking. I'm gonna rip this fucking pattern paper, aren't I? I fucked up. And he has a mobile. 
Wait, the guy who mows your lawn is actually Jesus? Or is it Jesus? I guess it's technically be pronounced Jesus, right? Because people's names aren't Jesus. Are they? I don't know. I've never met anyone named Jesus. I've met people named Jesus, though. Jesus, yeah. I figured. I was gonna say, um... Wait, what the fuck? Oh, Rowan, you think my hands are delicate? That's so nice of you. <laughs> okay, I forgot to do the stitch line for this guy here. You know what is kind of like a weird smell that I enjoy? Um, I enjoy the like sulfur smell um, after you light a match like a lot I'm really glad you don't think I have man hands Rowan that'd make me sad oh no good night Phantom. thanks for hanging out I really appreciate it um, I definitely won't be finishing this tonight so it'll probably have to be next time I can stream which I don't know when that'll be but I'll let you guys know but anyway good night phantom see you later okay I'm gonna clean up the edges of this a little mm. I wonder uh oh you know what else I fucking just didn't do <sighs> um love that smell yeah isn't it like so good I love the fucking smell of burnt candles not candles Jesus fucking burnt matches I'm thinking that I actually might do the edge stitching on this I think that could be like just a cool detail um uh oh I'm mm, hold on a second um, I'm back, but I need to go to bed in a few minutes. No, is that because Immortal's going to bed? So now you're going to bed because the rule is if he goes to bed, you go to bed. I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> um, Demi, has anyone ever said you have man hands? I mean, no, <laughs> no one's ever said that. Um, I think I just have like small hands and like they're like short. So they feel like squat, kind of, if that makes sense. So sometimes if I've had too much salt, they get a little, a little squishy. They look a little mannish. Um. Wait, what? Is who married? Oh no, you have to work tomorrow. Okay, well, I mean, oh, is, uh, is Phantom and Bookish married? No, they're not married. That's just Bookish as a rule is if Immortal goes to bed, she goes to bed because he's an adult and um, does what he has to do. Um, okay, yeah, so the Immortal rule, I get it. Good night, Bookish. Thanks for hanging out. I mean, I guess you're not leaving the second, but... Um, it makes me sad that you went away and now you're just going to go away again. I'm trying to figure out how these little fingertip things are being sewn on. Okay. I think they're being sewn on the same way that little strappy guy was sewn on last night. Little loopy boy. Um, with like exposed like seam but I do think I want to do uh, the edge stitching on this one I think that'll just be like a cool like extra little detail on the actual glove um sorry that's mom life I know I know but I still am sad that you're leaving 
um yeah bookish he's just been saying like poetry this entire like i don't know how else to explain it other than like some weird like how was a raven like a writing desk like things okay we'll put this little guy there on top of my instructions so i don't lose him i'll put that little guy there so oh yeah i did put the so that'll be like that on the wrist with like little fingies like i'm really excited about this little glove this is gonna be so cute with that dad life but i'm also a crazy person yeah you were like up until what'd you say the other night like 4 30 like what the fuck how do you stay up so late oh no i fucking put this in god damn it i have like a trash bin and then i have like a scrap fabric bin and i put my like little trash pieces in my scrap bin what is happening okay so these little guys are good they're cute um i'm probably gonna cut because i need three of these boys and then i'm gonna cut out wait what no i'm gonna cut three of these out and then i'm going to stitch the edges of these so then it looks like nice and pretty when we have the finished product i kind of am wondering why this is like well i guess that kind of makes sense i was wondering why this was like so square and it wasn't like um like kind of like a not a diamond shape but like i guess if anyone knows what like coffin shaped nails are like like fingernails like that but i guess it kind of makes sense it'll look better with this guy okay anyway cut these guys out i'm like nervous about these Ugh, they're so little um yeah i stay up stay up late i don't sleep much i just like don't understand i'm like a i'm i need a lot of sleep as a person i like cannot not sleep i just like don't understand how people go to bed at like four in the fucking morning and then just like wake up at a normal time oh okay i know it says like the grain line is like this way but i don't think it matters i mean i'm like 99.9% .9 sure it doesn't fucking matter because this is leather and there's not actually like a grain line um working 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 is that what we say or is it what we want i mean yeah i don't think anybody wants to work rowan i'm just gonna say that um okay i'm nervous about cutting this out because of its tiny shape. Ooh, you know what I should have fucking done? Mm, I can do that in a second. Um, Cause there's like these little, like, uh, what the fuck are they called? I don't remember the actual name, but there's like these little marks that are meant to line up the patterns, like notches kind of. They're not notches. Um, but yeah, I'll have to do that in a second spells out pretty words like magic floating across the stream wow is this just like poetry hour what is happening i think i'm gonna go this way i'm trying to like utilize like the edges that are already there so i don't have to do as much cutting i feel like i need a lot more fucking sleep that's for sure um i mean if i could just read craft watch movies and hang out with my beans but still get paid i'd never go to work dude fucking same like honestly like if this was my job 
fuck, dude. I'd be so excited. Um, I don't know. I mean, I love my work a lot and I feel pretty empty without it. I mean, I guess if it's something that like you're passionate about and you enjoy, then you, you know, then you enjoy it. Obviously you don't hate it, but like, I don't know. I just want to do what I want to do. And there isn't really a job out there that I can do exactly that I want to do well I mean I can it's just like hard to do you know it's not like oh I'm just applying for this job and this is where I want to work because like it's not really how it works um where you where do you work I mean you hate it I don't hate where I work like don't get me wrong I work for a fashion retailer it's fun I get to hang out with clothes all day I get to style people and dress people and I get to like uh, style the mannequins and like whatever like it's fun and I get to dress up and like model the product and everything but it's not necessarily I guess what I would want to do um like I'd rather be sewing and like making my own stuff I guess um but yeah, uh, um, it's because the world's greatest salesperson. I mean, from what I understand, you're a pretty good salesperson, aren't you, Mo? I mean, you do pretty well at your job or else you wouldn't be the guy that's like hiring people, right? Uh-oh, this is going to be a mess. Ugh, what a weird shape. I don't like this. Um, Debbie's a model, ooh la la. No, not like model the product, but like wear it and be like a walking mannequin, basically. Just like what the stuff we sell at the store I wear. I wish I was a model, that'd be cool. Well, I don't know. I feel like being a model could be cool, but also maybe not. Whoa! Bexelina, hello, welcome. How's it going? What is up? Boop. God, these pieces are so awkward and tiny. I'm very nervous. Um. Oh, Harley, sometimes you hate doing what you do. I mean, I guess there are like times when I can see like not liking it. Um, but I mean, you build computers like that's got to be fun, right? Most of the time, or is it just like the people you work with that you don't like, like the customers? Because I feel like it's always kind of like the people that make a job. It's not really the job itself. Like, are your coworkers good? Are your customers good? You know what I mean? Um... Lena, this is so weird because I'm having a shitty day and when you asked I just got like oh my god I have to put it out like wait what am I like did I read that weird I feel like I read that weird um you have to put out that like you're having a bad day or wait <laughs> I feel like I'm interpreting this like two different ways like you feel like you have to say you are having a bad day or you feel like you have to like put out those feelings and like stomp it out. Oh no, don't worry about your English. I will do my best to understand what you're saying. I mean, English is my first language and sometimes my English isn't very good either. Um, I mean, I guess you don't have to answer like how you're doing, but I hope your day gets better anyway. Oh shit more like to tell about it. <laughs> Rowan, what the fuck, dude? Um, I mean, if you want to tell about it, you can, but you don't feel like you have to. Oh yeah, I can see that, Harley. Like, especially like if you're building computers, because I'm guessing like 
you're working for yourself like you are your boss i'm assuming like you don't work for a company or at least that's just what i imagine you do sometimes this is so weird like i don't know if you can like really see on camera but like my overhead camera is like right in front of my face and i keep like almost just like bashing my head into it so that's fun Rowan, don't be weird to the new people. Um, oh, but Bex, you said that your English is not good. Where are you from? I mean, I guess you could be in America, but I assume people, I just always assume people that don't speak English very well probably live somewhere fun and exotic. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm gonna have to switch this around, I think. Oh, okay. These little finger pieces are gonna be messy. Um, even though English is the only language I speak, I suck at it. Fluent and smart ass. I mean, I guess like we're probably a lot better than what we think like at English, but sometimes I'm like, is this even my first language? Who knows? I love the interacting with customers and outsmarting the other companies I'm competing with in that victory. I mean, like, that's pretty dope. I do like the interaction with people. Like, I definitely like the customer service, like, sort of aspect of my job. It's, like, really, really cool. Um... But I think that I would want to do customer service for, like, my own, like, thing, you know? Like, I'd rather have, like, my own, like, company or something. Or, like, a thing that I'm working on and, like, they're my customers, not, you know, someone else's customers, if that makes sense. Cool. One little finger thing down. And this guy... Ooh, these are almost like too long for my finger. <laughs> Do you see this? That's like the length of my finger. And then it's gonna go around like that. Isn't that fun? Cool. Um, Bex thinks I'm having a hard time studying to get into university and also to support me. I started to sell notebooks. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Wait, why would your parents not support it? went to the market for my mom and she did like get a really big list for out two things only two. Oh my gosh and said you cannot read properly you'll not get into university that is rude i feel like you do you you work your ass off you fucking make and sell your fucking notebooks and like i know it sucks i know like how it can be with like family just not being particularly supportive of shit so like you just do you like that's fucking like so cool that you're like making like you're making your own thing to like you know what i mean like that's cool um i'm from brazil oh my gosh um isa isa yeah, what part of Brazil? How cool. I like, I would love to go to Brazil if I'm being totally honest. I feel like, I don't know if I just have like a super romantic idea of it, but I feel like it's like a gorgeous country. I would love to go there. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do the little, I don't know, I guess I might do those last. Those little marks so I can match everything up. Um, that's like really cool actually like handmade journals ooh let me look at your Instagram just like really quickly what is it bex.art Let's see, Bex.art. Oops. Oh, 
Um. Oh no. I don't see your Instagram, Bex. At Bex.art. Am I like... Hmm. I don't think this is you. I don't see any notebooks. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe I'll try to figure that out later. Maybe there's... I'm typing something in wrong. But... Okay. So that's done. Um, I hope things get better for you, though. Bex, that's hard with your, like, trying to get into university and, like, parents not being supportive. So... Why the fuck? For some reason, it's like not. Maybe I typed it in wrong. I must have typed it in wrong because it wasn't like showing up. Oh, there we go. I totally fucking typed it in wrong. Ooh, fun. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. These notebooks are so cool. Oh my god. That's fucking dope, dude. Those are really cute. Good job. <laughs> that's like really cool. Like you're doing a good job. I know it's like easier said than done, but don't listen to your parents. They don't get it. I don't normally say don't listen to your parents, but I feel like when it comes to being supportive, like I don't think that there is any fucking excuse for a parent to not be supportive. And that's just my opinion. Like, unless someone's, like, literally doing drugs and it's, like, actually harming them. Like, there is no reason to not support your child. Because you're doing a good job. I love the fucking entrepreneurial spirit. You're doing a good job. Don't listen to them. Boop. I think I'm just gonna cut down here I also think that I saw Bex the other day you followed and I wanted to say thank you for the follow I saw a bunch of people followed when I was like offline and stuff so thank you for the follow thanks for hanging out with us um and like when they're mean I just don't get it you know, it's hard because I kind of have a philosophy of like, like you're a parent, like you're in charge of this person's life. Like you don't get to act like that, but, oh geez, come on. Whoop. But you know, parents are humans too. They have shit going on. Obviously they have plans for you that you're not following and they just don't like it and sometimes people just don't know how to be a normal human about stuff because like it took me a long time to realize even though I still don't think it's acceptable it took me a long time to realize that my parents are people with problems of their own and you know Maybe they had, like, their fucked up childhoods and whatever, and they're dealing with shit, and, you know, it sucks, but try to be as understanding as possible and just don't listen to them. <laughs> okay, I think this will be easier to cut the pieces if, like, I'm not fighting with all that fabric. Um, sometimes the culture thing... Yeah, that's true. Sometimes it is like a, just a culture thing or like an age thing or whatever. Like, I don't think my dad understands that I do YouTube. I don't think he like 
gets that, <laughs> if that makes sense. Bookish is what mom should be. Yeah, bookish. Like, she grew up wanting to be a mom. So, like, you knew, like, you know she's going to be a good mom. Wow, this is a lot easier than trying to fight with all that fucking leather. Um, son of a bitch. Here we go. Um, yep, bookish is a mom. She's a good mommy. She's not my mom, but, um, she's kind of like our den mother, if that makes sense. Oop, I hear dead rattling around up there. Making stuff, he turned the stove on. So, it depends. I don't know what time he has to go into work tonight, but maybe we'll stream, we'll see. I think I'm gonna finish cutting out these pieces and that soup. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I'm very hungry again. I think that soup wasn't enough. I don't think I got enough soup but probably gonna go eat after I finish cutting out all my little pattern pieces and mark them and stuff. And then I don't think, I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow night. I work until 7.30, but I don't know if I'll get off at 7.30. So I don't know what time I'll be home. Cause like I might not be home till like almost nine. So I don't know if I'll be streaming this and then I work all weekend. So I don't know. We'll see. Um. <laughs> CC is live. We can read. Okay. Um, what if I don't want to like miss him? Okay. I'll just try to cut these out really quick and then I can mark them later like off off stream like you guys don't need to see me mark the little dots there like you get the idea I'm about to like cut off this thing okay so those little guys are done try to like wrap this up really quick because I don't want to like I don't want him to do like a short workout you know and then we miss him I want to get him strike while the iron's hot what's up Freya you freaking out? Um, be streaming an hour or so. Ooh, new Star Wars game's coming out. That's fun. Oh, let's see if I can match up these corners. Hell yeah. Cool. Um, oh shit, redeem, treat the pups. Mo, you don't need to see the whole process. You already know what I'm gonna do. There's dots in the corners. I'm gonna stab them with this awl. And then that's, that's really it. Okay, we're treating the pups, people. Probably shouldn't have said that like out loud where they can fucking hear me. Intermission. You guys ready? JD gave you a treat. Okay. All right, you guys get one treat each. All right, shake. Good girl, other paw. Good girl. Yum. Shake. Good boy, other paw. Good boy. Say thank you, JD. Yum. Good job, guys. You were more chill that time. Okay, I get it. You don't want a pet, you want a treat. Little monsters. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, well Freya's gonna root around in the uh the carpet. Isaac already ran away. Like how many holes? Let's see. Four, eight, twelve, twenty-four holes. I need to do it on 
Boop. So I'm gonna do whole, 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 whole on all of these little finger pieces. And then this guy is gonna get, on each finger is gonna have four holes that'll match up with this piece. And that's it. But we'll, we'll cut out this last piece and then we'll go raid, ooh, excuse me, we'll raid caffeine. And then when I figure out next time I'm streaming, I'll let you guys know. Cause I'm not really too sure. I have a feeling it's not gonna be tomorrow. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Um, I hope the world can learn with her. Um, whoa. Yeah, bookish. I can't wait to see how this turns out either. It's gonna be so fun. Oh, Isaac's back. He must have not got what he wanted from his dad. So now he's down here with me. Um, what's the distance between each hole? Whatever. It's not like if you watched it, you'd know anyway. I mean, as much as I'd like to keep sewing, I like really probably should stop because I won't stop. I'll just be like, nope, can't stream. Can't stream with dad. I'm just gonna sew until I have to work tomorrow. Okay, boop. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And then next time we'll do the edge stitching on all the pieces. And then we should be able to just put it together and the next time I should have D-rings and so it'll be like completely wearable. Am I too much of a smart ass? No, not at all. Okay. Also, plus I'm like hungry and I know I have soup, but I also kind of want a hot dog. Got hot dogs while I was at the store today. So. There is that. Um, um, I don't own a protractor, so you'll never know. Ooh, these like little pieces are really killing me. Okay. Bonk, cool. I wonder if that brown piece is gonna be big enough for anything else. I hope so. Good morning. Um. Oh, bookish, I'm so glad you're liking Hocus Pocus. It's so good. It's the best fucking movie ever created. This round part it's like turning out so ugly well the first one's ugly the second one's a little better this one's a little better i guess oh shit getting called out by fucking rowan over here um i don't have regular water i do have a bubbly but it's just water so i feel like that counts i think ash is uh i think his calibrations finally completed um Yep, dad's awake, he's having breakfast, so. Probably gonna go make myself like a hot dog or something and go visit with him. And then, well, we're gonna raid caffeine first. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Dead, I don't have a hot dog command probably should it only makes sense but I don't it's really truly the one thing I was missing from all my commands that somehow I for I just didn't have after I just said this piece was like the round part was like turning out better okay 
Cool. So we have all these tiny little shitty fucking pieces cut out. I mean, it'll be cute. It'll turn out and I'll be so excited, but I do have to say I did not enjoy cutting those out. Oh shit. I have to do the thing to mark this guy so I know where to fold it over at. Cool. Okay. So we have all of our pieces cut out. And then next time, like I said, we'll do all the edge stitching. Oh my gosh, thank you for the bits, Dad. Text to speech doesn't fucking work yet. I didn't figure it out. Um, because don't you have to have chatbot for that? And I don't have chatbot, so. Or at least I'm pretty sure that's what I was like reading and I didn't download chatbot, so that's that. Okay, so anyway, next time, edge stitching, putting all the pieces together, and then I should have the D rings. And so this will be like fully wearable. So I'm very excited about that. I mean, this piece will probably be like less, um, you could enable it in like 30 seconds. I don't know how to do that. I'm a baby child. I need to be shown how to do it. And I'm like not at my computer. My computer is being held hostage by my sewing table at the moment. So it's just not happening. Isaac, are you going to help me? What? Yeah, how are you going to get in there? Where's your mouse? It's right here. Okay. I feel like this is not gonna do a thing. Mm. Gamer guy games, good games. Gamer get gamed. Well, dad's gonna have to fucking get me good at this. Did you do it? I think so. You gonna give me more money? <laughs> and this is a showcase of annoyed Demi. Okay, well, I told him my computer is like, okay, and then you didn't even give me my mouse back. What the fuck am I supposed to do? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Money. I don't hear anything. Hmm. Okay, well, guess it's just not gonna work. Let me go get my mouse. You left all the way over here. Okay, so let's give old old caffeine a raid let me go to boop um is this right where am i going okay so i don't have a raid message but i guess we'll just have to go ahead i guess i probably need a keyboard to do this. Okay, so we're gonna raid caffeine and then I will, no, <laughs> no dead cam. He is eating breakfast at the moment. If we stream, you'll see him then. Okay, so let's raid caffeine is everybody fucking ready because i sure am i don't have like a raid message i probably should make one of those oh of course bex 
Okay, I, or, I don't have a raid message. I'm sorry. I need more commands. I need to like get my life together. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me again and sewing with me. Um, I don't know when I'll finish this project, but I'll let you guys know um, in Discord, on my Instagram. I'll try to make sure to post it on Twitter. Um, I should have a schedule up probably... I don't know, soon. I'll let you guys know on like whatever social medias. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm not baby raging. I mean, maybe a little bit baby rage, but we're just gonna go. We're gonna raid caffeine. It's gonna be fine. And I'll just go eat a hot dog and I'll feel better. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys. I'll try to keep you as updated as possible and see you later. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, this looks so dark. I might have to change some settings really quick. Um, but anyways, welcome to the stream. How's it going, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. Just gotta, you know, change some properties. Uh, Cause it looks super dark and I just really don't know why. Okay, that should be okay. Actually, I'm gonna go turn on a light really quick so you guys can like, I don't know, see my face. Ooh. Okay, I think that should be kind of helpful. Um, but anyways, how's it going, everybody? Um, oh, thank you, bookish. I'm actually wearing my little pouch I made um, when I went grocery shopping. I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear this little thing and see if it works. And honestly, it's kind of perfect. It fit my phone, my keys, my wallet. What else did I have in there? And my hand sanitizer. So that was pretty nifty. Oh, wow. I'm like out of breath okay dogs they've decided to lay right at my feet so that's like pretty cool um but yeah so that's kind of what I've got going on unfortunately my studying took and like homework took so much longer than I anticipated today uh <laughs> I had a lot more assignments to turn in than I thought I did I had like two quizzes, an essay, a discussion thing, and then I had to like watch these videos. So I don't know, all of that just took like way too fucking long. And then I still had to go grocery shopping, so. But now we're here. Um, so I know that I said I would have the D-rings next time uh, I streamed, but I just kept missing being able to go to Hobby Lobby and I checked a couple other stores that were open that kind of like fit my schedule better and I could not find D-rings to save my fucking life um, but I got these slide adjusters um, and I'm gonna do like a quick little project with these guys. I think they should work the same maybe um but I have like a quick little I guess like project I want to do with them before we start because it'll need time to dry but it'll dry pretty quickly um with the stuff I have oh no <gasps> oh geez okay well I'm glad you're like not knowingly like at school with someone who has like COVID because that just like would not be a good time. Um, so I was saying <laughs> that uh, I know I said that I'd have D-rings this time, but I don't because I couldn't find them and I just like was not able to make it into Hobby Lobby because uh, they're closed on Sundays and Sunday was like the easiest day for me to go. So like whatever. Um, but I did find these like slide adjusters. I'll kind of show you guys up close in a second. I have a little 
project because they're silver. I don't want them to be silver. So I'm going to try to paint them and see if that works. I don't really know if it's going to. <sighs> um, okay. So I guess let's, gosh, why does it feel like so dark in here? Did like a light bulb go out or something? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead. Um, yeah, it is 2020. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, and at least it wasn't at your school. I feel bad for the unfortunate souls that it did happen at their school. So hopefully, like, they're okay. Um, but yeah. Dude, I just, like, I don't even know what to believe anymore. Like, what is 2020? Like, was it yesterday or the day before Dead was telling me how the FBI released these documents that Nikola Tesla was a fucking Venusian, like, I'm sorry, what? Like, what is this year? Like, what's happening? <sighs> anyway. Whoa, hey, ghosty. What's up, my dude? Um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Bink. Look at that. Okay. Um, so here I have these little adjuster guys and they should work just the same. Like it's the same concept. So we'll see. What was Tesla? He was, um, found, well, anyway, these documents said he was a Venusian with like a, a person from Venus. So... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what the world is anymore. I don't know what's happening. I just fucking don't know. <sighs> so, like, there is that. Um, oh, I gotta move my trash over here so I can, like, throw stuff away. Okay, excuse me, dogs. Don't get up. Don't do it. Oh, my God. They're seriously monsters. I'm like, don't get up. What do they do? Get up. They're, like, literally laying in the way. Okay. Um, but dead and is eight is an alien too. I can neither confirm nor deny. Okay. So I have this little thing and it should be like the same concept as a D ring, you know, where you like slide this like up and then through. Oh, boop. Oh, 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 like this. So that should be fine question mark I don't really fucking know but I hope so <laughs> um <sighs> okay and then I have this like liquid gilding that I've had for about 4,000 years um and this old shitty paintbrush and I'm just gonna try to like paint this gold because I don't want it to be silver Okay, stop licking my legs. What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with them today? <sighs> um, but yeah, anyway. Oh, caffeine. I saw that. <laughs> I, I know I already was like, oh, like, thanks for the raid. But thanks for, like, stopping by, man. I really appreciate it. I didn't, like, as soon as I started my stream, I saw that, like, I got a notification that you were streaming. And I was like... And I feel like an asshole. Ooh, two truths and a lie. Oh shit. Okay. Um, I don't. Okay. Hold on. Let's just time out for like a second. I think there's a cool thing I can do. Um, four, two truths and a lie. And I'm like pretty excited about it. I don't, I'm like pretty sure. Okay. Um, here we go. Uh, I meant to prep this too. I'm such a fool. I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna tell you like two truths and a lie. And then I'm gonna do a poll. Uh, I think, I 
think this will work okay. <sighs> oh, you're just chan testing the channel points. Oh my god, yeah, I saw that you got to affiliate. Congratulations, dude. That's like so dope. That's like so fucking exciting. I knew like you and Neon like had to be close to being affiliate. I was like, how the fuck are they not affiliate yet? Okay. Um also I'm looking forward to some fucking sweet ass um channel point redemptions. Okay. Okay, I hope this like poll works. I haven't even tested this, so like bear with me people. Okay. Um ooh, and then a command I'm guessing has to be Okay. Okay, okay. I think this is working okay. Um, okay. So here we go, people. I'm excited. I'll tell you in a second once I have this all set up because I feel like it'll be useless when you guys can't like officially vote. You know what I mean? I'm having such a hard time spelling, I feel like, because people are, like, watching me. Ooh, you're stalking my Etsy. Stop. I mean, don't stop. I mean, I feel like there's a part of me that, like, makes me nervous when people, like, tell me they're, like, at my Etsy. And I get, like, nervous. And I don't know why. Um, but, yeah. Um, oh, caffeine. I've been thinking about, because I know every time you're, like, ooh, we need that, like, label on a t-shirt. And I think I want to make, um... Like, I want to make a cool, like, tunic-y, like, style t-shirt to put, like, I want to have, like, a cool t-shirt. Like, I don't want just, like, a regular, like, Hanes tee. So, like, that's something that I've been thinking about. So, like, don't you even worry. Steven Etsy? Yeah, so I have an Etsy. If you don't know what an Etsy is, it's basically a marketplace for people who, like, make and sell things. That's like the most basic. Well, they don't have to make them. Sometimes it's vintage. Um, at least that's what it's supposed to be. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so I just have to type in one more here. I've, like, prepped my two truths and a lie. So, um, I got that far. I don't know, like, I meant to, like, prep this stuff beforehand, but, like, holy shit, I had so much fucking homework to do and, like, didn't even realize. Um. Okay. Think this works okay so two truths and a lie first one I visited three countries in three days number two I've participated in a food fight number three I've panned for gold in a river so there you go people um, so then to vote, you just do, um, use exclamation point vote. And then if you think the three countries is a lie, use that command. Or if you think food fight is a lie, do that command. Um, or if you think that I've gone panning for gold is a lie, do that command. Um, thought that would be really fun. Um, I am planning, I guess, while people vote or whatever anyway, um, I am planning on adding a chat bot to my Twitch. I know Dead has chat bot on his and that's how he can do like sound commands and stuff. Um, 
So I'm like really hoping to like find a little bit of time to add in some of those things. Ooh, I can see like the poll results. That's so exciting. Okay. Caffeine, you have to do exclamation point vote and then exclamation point your your vote, I guess. Like how uh, Phantom did it, like in that specific way. So Phantom's vote was counted. Ooh, got another vote, people. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is so fun. <laughs> Caffeine panicking. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I feel that. I'm like literally always panicking, so I get it. Uh, but yeah, so I think this is how I want to do the two truths and a lie, um, from now on and have it like prepped and like run a poll. So it's like easier for people to like, I guess, like vote. I don't know. It's like more interactive and I like it that way. Um, yo, Sunbun, what is up? How's it going? Thanks for chiming in. And I'll probably let it go for like... A few more minutes while we just like chat um <laughs> caffeine you can't vote to poop syriac demi is way too not against the law to have done a food fight hey i was pretty angsty in my teenage years i was like a raging shithead in high school like as an adult, I'm definitely pretty, uh, pretty for the law, but I've done some shady things, like stayed out past curfew. Um, and then, oh, something else too, uh, I know Caffeine had mentioned there was a lot of, like, copyright free music. And I think what I want to do, I think at least while I'm doing the sort of like medieval like cosplay style like streams and stuff, I think I want to have like uh, what I've seen around the internet called bardcore. <laughs> um, there's a few, and I don't know if I'm like technically like allowed to use their music, but they do covers in medieval style. And I thought that would be really fun. And then um, I can, like, maybe make, like, a command so people can, like, go check out their YouTube channels, which I think would be, like, super cool. Um, ooh, how exciting, the sun bun. A home sewing machine is, like, the shit, dude. That's, like, where it's at. <laughs> nah, I can see Demi being like, nah, as if. That's fair. That's fair. Um, you guys will love this. My soon-to-be eight-year-old came home from school today excited about how he learned about bones. Wait, his favorite was the shit bone? The fuck is that? Like, what does that even mean? Oh my god, I like... <laughs> Did you ask him? uh where that was oh caffeine so the options are um i've been to three countries in three days i've participated in a food fight and i've panned for gold in a river which one's the lie dude hell yeah fucking bardcore um but that's kind of what i was like thinking about is like because i don't want to just randomly play something like on youtube I don't know if there's any copyright free, um, like services like Spotify that will do like a playlist. Like I haven't really researched that, so I don't know. So I was thinking I'll just make my own playlist and like play it on my computer, um, that way. Cause I just don't want any like copyrighted music to play because that would be very unfortunate. Who, excuse me. Um, oh no, Ashley, I'll have to ask dad how to like change my I forgot he actually <laughs> he showed me how to change my stream settings but I don't remember how to do it or if I could do that in the middle I might have to restart I don't know I'll have to like make a note to have him uh I don't know help me figure that situation out I wish you could watch that makes me so sad I guess um if it's any consolation 
the streams, I'm going, I'm like downloading them and then compiling the streams like per project and then uploading them to my YouTube so that people can like watch if they missed out, um, if that um, helps at all. <laughs> so I don't know if you were able to watch the bag I made or not, but that whole stream, like both of those streams are like together in one video up on my YouTube. So there's that. Oh, he meant shin bone. And it was so sad. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. Um, I just feel like what would a shit bone even be? Like, I'm so intrigued. Oh, oh okay. Well, I'm glad you saw it. Um, anyway, I got to see some of it. Ashley. Um, okay. Where are we at? Okay, so... He was just excited to be able to say shit. Um, that's really fucking funny. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to end the poll in a few seconds. Give people some time to vote away on which one they think the lie is. So for those of you who don't know, we're doing two truths and a lie right now. Bookish redeemed it. Um, your options are, I've been to three countries in three days, I've participated in a food fight, and I've panned for gold in a river. I fucking love all the nicknames for Ashley. It's so much fun. Um, and then today, I guess just for like a rundown of what we have to do on our little glove is, um, the, I couldn't find the D ring. I do have this little like adjuster, whatever the fuck. Um, I'm going to try to paint that gold and I have this special like gilding stuff that isn't like paint. It dries like super quickly. Okay. It is open. These get like glued shut. So so how to check that out. Um, and Ashley, you can actually vote um, on the poll. Oh yeah, wait, no, did it? Well, um, I wish there was a way to... Okay, yeah, so it should be letting you know that there is a poll anyway. Okay, let me see if I can, because you can actually vote, oh no, Streamlabs, I can't copy your message. Um, I wonder if I can like add, oh, I can't like manually add a vote or anything, but if you do exclamation point vote and then a space and then exclamation point food fight, it'll add in your vote if you would like to add in your vote. But honestly, it's pretty overwhelming food fight at this point, so. My dad calls me the chicken whisperer. Why does he call you the chicken whisperer? <laughs> Caffeine. I'm panicking. I think I picked wrong. Um, well, you know, you made your choice and now you have to lie in it or something. <laughs> D-ring. Um, yeah, so that's like a fun thing to say. Oh, Ashley, if you take the space away out of food fight, so like food fight as like one word, and then it'll count your vote. But I'll leave it for a few, a few more little seconds. Um, oh yeah, but anyway, so I guess a rundown, we're gonna paint this little adjuster piece gold, hopefully that works. Um, then we're gonna do the edge stitching while this like dries, and then we will sew everything together. So I'm pretty excited about that. Like my little paintbrush, got everything good to go. Um, I wonder if I can vote for it. 
because if you do oh my little there we go okay cool so that added in because chickens love me and I catch them super easy that's so weird Ms. favorite that I can pick them up and carry them without having to hold them just lay on their backs my palms that's so bizarre like how does one even find out that they have such a talent okay we have eight votes in people and I'm closing the poll I wonder if it'll tell you what the results were complete damn okay so you guys were for the majority correct I've never participated in a food fight um there was once a food fight at my school like I think for like a hot second and I'm pretty sure I just left because I didn't want to get food all over me so good job guys good job um we have chickens I grew up around them oh, okay <laughs> I'm a chick magnet oh my god I love that I wish like I feel like you should get that as like a pin or something that's hilarious okay cool well that was really fun I really like that that it like tells you the results too cool 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 um, you're so cultured and outdoorsy. I figured that was the best option. <laughs> Tips, Fedora, Fedora, my lady. Um, yeah, so I have panned for gold. Um, but in the, <laughs> funnily enough, the river that we were panning for gold in, um, during the gold rush, like people thought it was real gold and like you can still go there and like the riverbed is like shimmering, but it's not real gold. It's fool's gold. But that was still really fun to, like, go panning for gold. Because um, I think my dad told us that it was real gold when we went and did it. Um, so I was definitely panning for gold, but the only thing in that river was fucking pyrite. So, but it was really cool. And the river was really pretty because it was just, like, glittering and just, like, magical. Um, <laughs> Cucks gold. Yes. Um, yeah, you guys have lived everywhere and panning for gold seems right up your alley. <laughs> um, yeah, cause we went, cause me and my sisters went with my mom and my dad when we were little to go panning for gold. And then when me and my best friend went on a cruise, because we were on a cruise, we were able to visit like three different countries in three different days. Cause it was like, um, we visited Mexico and then Belize, no, Mexico, Honduras, and then Belize in three days, which was like fucking dope. So like his hunting prank trips um kind of I mean after we were like panned for gold he was like oh here's like the history and like the story of like whatever like the river um so like that was like kind of fun that it was sort of like interactive like we had gone there just like you know people during the gold rush like thinking that it was real gold only to find out that it was pyrite so I don't know. I thought that was kind of like a fun little thing. I enjoyed it, even though it wasn't really gold. Um, <laughs> Demi's a gold digger. I mean, you could say that I am, in fact, a gold digger. Used to own some fool's gold. I actually have, I have, I have a lot of fool's gold, actually. Um, my dad actually, a couple years ago, sent me a bunch of tiny little fool's gold nuggets that I have. And then I've got like a I guess the camera's here, not fucking over there. Um, but I have like a big like chunk of pyrite actually too. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get this show on the road. What do you guys say? How do I do it? Okay, I guess it's my phone. <laughs> All right, let's just be boo bop. There we go, okay. Excuse me, I'm a little burpy because I'm having some Dr. Pepper because I need some caffeine. Okay, so we have this stuff. I actually need to shake it first because it does separate. 
I don't even know if this is sold anywhere anymore. I got this like literally a billion years ago and this shit smells like fucking turpentine. Ooh, thanks for the lurk, Ashley. I hope maybe next time I can get that fucking shit figured out and you can actually um, watch with us. Ooh, yeah, hopefully you get back in time so we can see you. <laughs> you fucking, yeah, shake that shit like a Polaroid picture. Okay, I think this should work pretty well, actually. Because it does dry, like, super fast. God, it's like very strong smelling. Um, I think I should be able to do the front. Oh geez, I don't wanna get my little fingerprints all over it. Should be able to do the front and back pretty quickly. Like it should dry that fast. Um, ooh, what kind of horror game are you gonna play? That looks more like pyrite liquid to me. Hey, I was told it was gold, all right? Oh, yeah, that's not quite dry yet. Um, ooh, is it the, oh yeah, phasmophobia. Okay, I have heard so much about that and, um, I'm so interested, but I haven't seen any gameplay yet. I feel like I've just been so fucking busy since I heard about it that I just haven't been able to check it out. And that makes me really sad. Played up to four and it's really cheap. Ooh, how much is it? I mean, you can tell me CAD because that's fine. <laughs> um, let's just flip that baby over. And then it's a little brighter. I mean, it is like gold gilding, so it's gonna be pretty bright, but I, was, I wish I had like a brass one because I would have preferred brass. Um, I wanna see so badly, dude. I really would like, I'm so interested in that game. I mean, I haven't even seen the gameplay, but I just like love the concept of it so much. Okay. We'll just go ahead and then I don't really care if that gets like hard or whatever, but. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, I think, and leave that for like a hot second. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead it is like so fucking dark in here. I like don't understand. I feel like a light bulb went out, but a light bulb did not go out. Okay, um, I'm gonna turn another light on and then actually maybe turn that light up really quick. And then I'm gonna sew the edge stitching on the leather pieces. Mm. 14 bucks isn't so bad. Um. Haven't seen the bald lady yet. Oh my god, I cannot get that top on, so I'm just gonna fucking leave it. Um, okay, I'm gonna be away from a chat for like a hot second. Um, okay. feel better and then I'll turn this other light on okay that feels like a lot better so we're gonna go ahead and sew these do our edge stitching okay and like I said I won't be able to see the chat for like a hot minute Thanks, Isaac, for breathing on me, um, just because I'm a little bit blind and I just can't see it. Okay. Why are you guys panicking? Huh? I don't know if you can, like, yeah, you guys can see them. They're, like, sniffing around up here. 
I think they thought they were going to get a T-R-E-A-T. But they're not. No, 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 no. Get away from me. Boop, boop. Um. Okay. I think that'll probably be good. I hope it will be good. Um, okay. So let's go. Yeah, I mean, that's like decent enough. I think it'll like look nice as an end product. easier like I'm just so much more comfortable now since I did that um this little pouch Ooh, that is crunching up and I don't like that but it's fine. <laughs> guys all done he looks pretty good the like pointed part here is like it's a little messy it's like not really even but whatever okay um I'm a little nervous about these guys but I don't know I might just try to do these and get these out of the way and then do the bigger piece you know what I mean I'd rather get the hard stuff done first. What's up, Isaac? Are you freaking out? I do think this is going to be such a nice detail though. I'm so excited. Uh-oh. Got that pointed part. I don't know. running the machine just think that part's like a little bit too delicate Okay, 
this actually isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Getting like a nice clean corner though is like kind of hard because the leather like sticks to the needle. hardest part is the curved part so that's making me a little bit nervous I guess this part will be like on the underneath of my fingers so maybe that won't be as it won't be so bad okay um i guess i'll kind of connect the chat and then show you where i'm at So, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see here, but there's like the edge stitching. I don't know, it's gonna be like hard to see because it's dark brown on, like with the black thread. And then I've also got that edge stitching on this piece. So those guys are done. I might quickly, maybe do another coat on this guy. Um, Whoa. Oh my gosh, Sunbun, you're so sweet. Is it Demi super cute today? Um, I just have like, I've been like on this whole like 16th century like pirate witch vibe. And I think that's just where I'm gonna go with my wardrobe if I'm being honest. Um, what it, whoa. What is a Baldur's Gate 3, JD? I'm sure you're probably like way past that, but. I'm just curious. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a little, another coat. Um, I might just like do one side and then let that dry and then do, oh, it's already separated. She's a witch, she turned me into a newt. Well, maybe you shouldn't have pissed anyone off, JD. That's what happens, that's what you get. Thank you, Sunbun. That's so sweet. Um, I've been watching a lot of Bernadette Banner and Rachel Maxey um, lately. And I just love that they have been able to embrace their like vintage style and kind of get over the that nervousness that people are going to like stare at them and think that they're like weirdos for dressing that way. I'm like, you know what? I'm really like into like historical style as well. And I think that I would like to add those things together, you know, like my just like normal clothes and like a historical style and dress like that because it's a lot of fun. And as much of a like tomboy that I am, I do really enjoy dresses and skirts and I think they're fun and I like being feminine. Okay. Um, Baldur's Gate is a series taking place in the D&D universe. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of fun. Is it like, um, I'm, well you say like Baldur's Gate, so I assume it's like Norse mythology based. 
question mark. Um, it's basically the closest to playing D and D in a video game. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I guess I'm getting this like gold paint like all over my fingernails. Um, well this like, I don't know, you can probably see a little bit better. I don't know if it's like focused. I can't really like tell, but I think you can get, bleh, 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 bleh. I think you can kind of see the, um, that edge stitching I did. And that goes all the way around. And even though it's like not actually doing anything, I think it'll make for a really nice like finished product. So I'm very excited about that. Baldur's Gate is a city in the Forgotten Realm. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Oh no, I got, I guess that's not the worst thing ever. I got gold on, I got gold on my little strappy guy. Um. Okay, so let's move back on over to my sewing machine and we'll finish up sewing those pieces. Um, I'll probably do the two like little finger, little finger pouches. I'm like actually really excited. I feel like this is gonna be super cute. Okay, I'm gonna do the little finger pouches and then pouches, little finger holes, and then I will be back. Well, I mean, I'll be here. You'll see me anyway. Okay. I wish I had like a better system for that. But, you know, what can you do? All right. Okay. Um, cool. Okay, I don't know why I'm like feeling a little bit nervous. I wonder if I should have done the curved part first. Mm, I don't know, it's probably fine. Side down, she's looking great. Cool. This is also a little weird. Okay. Wonder if I can go. One more stitch. Okay, that's a little, I got a little close to the edge there. rotating is really doing me some favors on these like itty bitty pieces. Cool. Nice. Okay. Let's just get this guy all nice and situated. That one is not very pretty. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's all practice, so I guess it's fine.
bunched up. I do have to say leather is a little, a little more difficult to work with in this way, I think. These like teeny tiny little pieces and curves. Smooth sailing, I think. Okay, that should be good enough, I think. I mean, I guess I am sewing this onto the glove, so that's like probably okay for the back stitching, I'm guessing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try to do the curved part first. See if maybe that's a little bit more helpful for me. Could be a bad idea, I don't really know. Okay. so bad it's a little more pretty than the other one but it's still not really great so boring I'm gonna try to figure out the music thing soon so there's at least music while I'm just like sitting here sewing and like not saying anything because I don't think you'd really be able to hear me over the machine as we are getting to that corner. close to the edge. I think I might try to back it up. Cool. That should hopefully not be super ugly. They're a little rough, however, oh my god, Freya, don't move, don't move. Uh-oh, 
think I almost just dropped that on. They really just like think something's happening. Stop. Stop freaking out. Okay. So whoop, did not push that over far enough. There we go. Okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on one second. So hello. Um 23 Fifi. Welcome. Hey, how's it going? Um just miss you. Just want to say, I guess I could probably like adjust that microphone. Um, I'm like really super professional, so like don't even worry about it. Okay, Emerald redeemed uh, Japanese. Oh my gosh, I'm like so nervous. I feel like I should have like practiced or something. Um, uh, konbanwa, uh, watashi no name wa demi des, uh, hajime mashite. Boom. There you go, Emerald. You're welcome. Um, oh no, ghosty and bookish. Thank you for the lurk. I hope you guys have a good night. Um, hope everything's, you know, good. Ghosty, I hope you have a good night at work. And bookish, I hope you just have a good night sleeping. <laughs> um, Abe, what's up? I am not making a nut pouch. Um, I'm thinking of making some extra pouches but we'll see I don't know when I'll be able to make them because I still want to be able to do like extra projects and stuff but I guess just fucking JD's got it okay so I have all three of my little finger pockets I guess I can probably show you on the table boop okay oops nope that didn't work go why is this oh no it timed out again. I hate when it does that. Okay, there we go. Um, so we have the finger pouches um, that have the edge stitching on them. We have our little strappy. I just have to do like the main like hand part, but I think I'm gonna trim all of these like little squirrely pieces first and just kind of like hang out and chat because when I'm like over there on my island of my sewing machine, I can't see chat. So, you know what? I probably could grab my fucking tablet and bring it over there. Don't know why I didn't think about that till just now. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, um, how's it going, Fifi? Whoa, jeez. Okay, Isaac, why are you right behind me? Um, you doing anything fun? How's it going? How is life? I forgot to put my little apron on, which could be helpful if I'm sewing. Okay. Um. This is like still kind of tacky. So, I don't know. Hopefully that dries by fangirling so hard. Why? You know me, you've seen me. I'm just a regular human. You cannot be fangirling over me. And then if you're not fangirling over me, I'm gonna feel like a fucking asshole for thinking that. Um, okay, I guess I can probably put on my little snippy boys. Oh my gosh, stop, I love you too. Okay. So I guess I'll just kind of show you guys here just have like that little edge stitching. I know it's like nothing super like special, but I think it'll make all the difference in the finished product. I think it'll just like look nice. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, however, I'm kind of sad because I think my little <laughs> corner marks where these match up to the glove, I think are now um, sewn over, but We'll be fine. Ooh, thanks for the lurk, Emerald. We'll see you later. Good, uh, have a good day doing, uh, whatever you're doing. I feel like you're in Australia, question mark, Emerald. 
I thinking of the right person? I feel like you are. I feel like you're um, south of the equator, so you're probably like actually doing stuff. Okay. Um, this got like a little messy, I think, but that's okay. Boop. Cool. I really hope this like little piece dries. Um, usually this like gold stuff dries really quickly. I've never used it on metal though, so maybe that's why it's like not drying. I don't know. Cool. Those are all nice and pretty. Because I don't really want... Because I don't mind if this has like texture necessarily from my fingers, but I don't want it to rub off on the leather pieces. That'll make me sad. Because I already got gold on this, but... Um, I think this is going to go... I should probably just trim this. I don't know why I'm like, this is tacky. Let me just put it on my leather after I said I don't want it on my leather. But I also want to see what it's going to look like. Is it even going to look good? I don't know. Okay. Boop. Okay. So. I guess it'll mostly just be on the bottom, if anything. Mm-mm-mm. Uh-oh. Okay. Ooh. That's gonna be rough. I'm like now regretting my decision. Um, I wonder if I could hand stitch it. I don't think I'm going to be able to sew this like teeny tiny thing on my machine, but that's what this will look like anyway. And then it'll go up through here. Um, uh oh. I mean, honestly, I could probably do with making the strap a little bit shorter, honestly. Like, I don't think that's going to, like, hurt anything. I could probably have it like this. Have, like, a longer little deal. Because I think... Actually, let me look here. Okay, yeah, so this line right here is the fold line. So that'll actually work out fine. I just panicked for no reason. Okay. Um... So we'll just like let this dry some more. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's feeling a little more dry. I hope it like keeps the like paint on it. We'll just put it over there. Okay. Um, I am going to finish doing the edge stitching on the um, main like hand part and then I think we can construct it like put this bitch all together do I even have the instructions I do okay all right so we're gonna do the edge stitching of the hand and then We'll sew on the little finger bits. So that's the plan, Stan. I'm a little nervous because the pieces are so small, but thankfully I have small fingers, so if it's a little tight, we'll be fine. Okay. So let's switch on over to the sewing machine. So we'll just go ahead, sew this little guy, and then we can start putting it all together, which I'm very excited about, because it wants me to add on the finger pieces first, and then the wrist strap, 
and then the buckle. So hopefully like the little buckle piece or the adjuster, whatever the fuck it's called, will be, um, let me point this actually towards my face, the microphone. Oh, I need a better like automated setup. Anyway, and then we'll do the buckle last and then she's done. And that shouldn't take too, too long, I don't think. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get her done. Okay, I'm so excited. These projects are going so fast. so far so good we're doing the first finger here so wish me luck Could be better. I could probably do one stitch across. Well, kind of too late for that. I don't know. It's fine. Um, next time, if I make another one of these, I think I will do a stitch across there instead of pivoting because that did not turn out how I wanted it to. This works fine. Um, no, that did literally the exact same thing. I don't know why the instructions say to pivot. Maybe I should have sewn further down. I don't know. I'll show you what happened in a second. Check her out. Okay. Um, so, oh, I forgot that doesn't work. Okay. So, basically, what the instruction said to do was like when you got to the like apex of like the, or not the apex, but like the point of like the finger was to 
pull up the presser foot and then just turn the glove and then sew back down the other finger. Um, but what that did is like the stitches like came off of the glove, which will cause a problem later um, with the usage. However, I think what I would do next time is do one stitch across like by hand by just turning the wheel and then stitching up the finger. Um, let me adjust my little camera here. I was like not quite right. Okay. So now um, we will match up all the pattern pieces together and then we can sew everything together and then we will have a glove and I'm very excited. Okay. I am, I feel like the part of me that really likes instant gratification is like very excited that these projects are so fast. And I know I said this last time um, or on the other project, but like, ooh, excuse me. But sometimes like the longer projects make me feel like discouraged from sewing sometimes because then it's like it takes so long to get a finished product and then it's like I'm just over it you know like I just want I just like want to see a finished product already okay so but these are nice to do and I'm feeling like more excited and inspired to do bigger projects so there is that um I think I would need a little bit different of a camera setup maybe for a bigger project because this overhead camera is like really short and it, this is like the tallest that it goes so but I do want to um, make a because like back here I have like my medieval underdress which I don't know if anyone cares to see me hand sew the seams on stream, but I definitely want to make the overdress for that that's going to be green. Um, and I have like my writ dye and everything for it, so I'm really excited. Um, and I was thinking about maybe once we get a few accessory pieces done and kind of like I get warmed back up into sewing because, you know, I feel like it's one of those things where like use it or lose it that <laughs> kind of makes sense um so I think it'll just be like a good warm-up to make a bunch of like little accessories and then work on like a bigger piece um which I'm actually really excited about doing because I learned a lot from that dress what to make next time so I'm very excited all right so what we need to do is sew the fingertips on. Ooh, sunburn. Ooh, yeah, I would really like to do like a dress for sure because um, like medieval dresses, like there's always like an underdress, like the undergarment, the shift or the chemise, if you will. And then there's like the overdress or whatever. And so, like, this is technically underwear. Ooh la la. <laughs> um, so, I think it would be really nice to do, like, the overdress. And I learned so much, like, from that dress. Like, because that'll have to be covered anyway. Because there's a few spots I kind of fucked up that... <laughs> like, it's ugly. It's bad. Ooh, okay. This is feeling nice and good and dry. So, I'm feeling good about this. Um... I don't know what project I want to do next time. Um, I think I want to do one more. Um, I want to do. Uh, there's always a practice piece. Yes. Like there's like a few parts of the dress that I'm not like in love with. Um, like the. <laughs> So the way the pattern piece was like, I don't know what I did. I just like calculated it wrong. I was supposed to make like take half of a measurement 
and I like didn't half it. I just did a whole measurement for the sleeve. So my sleeve was like way down here when it should have been like up here. Um, so yeah, which made me like really sad. So I had to like cut out like the sleeve. I don't know. It kind of like made a mess. And then, um, the gaudets, like the like panel pieces that like fit into the dress. I'd never done those before. And that's like a whole ass fucking thing. Um, and so there's like a bit of fraying because of the muslin that I used. And then anyway, there's just a lot of shit I learned from that project in particular that I feel pretty confident about doing another dress. And that'll be like the overdress, I think, um, that'll be a little more elaborate. Like I think I'd want to take a little bit more time on it and like embroider the neckline and then embroider the uh, hem of the sleeve and then embroider like the actual hem of the dress. So that's what my plan is anyway. And then I don't know, I think I'm unsure if I should dye the fabric before I use it or if I should make the garment and then dye the garment. <laughs> So I guess here's my thinking. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so if I dye the fabric first, I only have like so much dye. Um, I don't really want to get more dye. So like if I f like fuck up the dress, then like I've wasted the dye. Um, or I could make the dress and then dye it and then maybe there's like I fuck up the dye and then like the dress is like fucked up from the dye so I don't really know what like the best idea is um I'm kind of thinking I should make the dress first and then dye it but I don't really I don't really know that's just kind of like my thinking on it at the moment because then I don't know either way there's a lot that could happen you know like a lot that could be fucked up so you know whatever and I mean I guess if I make the garment and it's like nice and I like it and I want to dye it I can always just put more dye over it maybe depending on how fucked up the dye job is I don't know we'll see but that's kind of what I want to do in the future and then um on top of all of the like the um the shift and then I'll have like the nice like curdle over the top of it and then I'm thinking that on the top of that that I want to do like an apron dress like viking style where it's just like a front and a back panel and then it has like the little like suspenders that come over it um and then I'll do that but I think I want to do that like brown I actually almost kind of want to get like some like brown flannel for that project just so it feels kind of woolen I don't want to spend the money on wool so I'm thinking flannel would be good um before definitely before because it will pre-shrink so you don't have to worry about shrinking later and I'll be more even that is true it just like makes me so nervous I guess like the dye like isn't expensive then I'm like what if I like just really fuck it up <laughs> um but yeah no that's like a good point like getting even dye um because I pre-wash my fabric before I sew with it anyway um, but yeah, so let's go ahead. Um, basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to, I actually should probably move these down a little bit. There was a weird sound and I don't know if it was the dogs or my house is just haunted. Okay. Um, so... What I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna sew around like the tip of the finger and then across here where the like stitches are on all of these. So I'll need to line up my little marking here with the stitches. I don't actually know if that's what it wants me to do, but that's what I'm gonna do because that's what I want. Okay. Cool. Okay, have a little bit more Dr. Pepper. I probably shouldn't be drinking Dr. Pepper so late, but whatever, I'm an adult, I can do whatever I want. Okay, so let's go ahead, move over to the sewing machine, and then, ooh, treat the pups. Hell yeah. What a nice in-between. They're like sleeping. They're like so not even expecting this. So let's try to be as like stealthy as possible. Okay, sounds good, sun bun. Well, okay, hey, you chill out, Isaac, sit down. Don't be crazy, chill. Yeah, I know, life is hard for you as a puppy. Okay, sit. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera up just a hair. Okay, this is from Sunbun. Say thank you, yum. Good job, Freya. All right, Isaac, sit. This is from Sun, hey, no, you chill. This is from Sunbun, yum. Look at them, they're so cute. See if you chill out and you be a good boy, you get a treat. God, he's like the most fucking high strung dog. Ugh, your dog hair is everywhere. Okay. <laughs> she is still munching away. Um, but thanks for hanging out, Sun Bun. I hope you have a really good night. Appreciate you hanging out with us. And she's done with her treat. She's just scavenging in the carpet. So we'll switch the camera around. Ooh, thanks for the lurk. But yeah, so Isaac is like, he's so fucking hung, high strung all the goddamn time. Like we move and he like, I swear to God, almost breaks his back. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead, sew the little finger pieces on, and so we're gonna sew like the finger tips on, and then like the sides of it, which should be pretty quick and painless, I think. So I should be able to do that really quick, and then we can add on the other pieces in a second. So. Um, again, I won't be able to see chat super well. Well, I'm going to bring this over here with me so I can see chat. You just may not be able to hear me super well. Okay. Look at that, Freya. Thinking, we're thinking outside the box. I'll move the, point that towards me. Okay. Now I can read it all good. Love it. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna sew the piece that goes like across like the fingertip and then around like what kind of looks like the fingernail part. I think that'll be maybe the easiest to kinda to kinda do. Ooh, 
keeping this all like <laughs> like lined up is gonna be kind of hard okay yeah bye sunbun thank you so much again for hanging out i love it sunbun left with a treat the pups What a good way to leave. Okay. Ooh, this is lining up pretty nicely. I was like honestly worried it was gonna like, I don't know, be fucked up. <laughs> okay. I think I might do the like hand rotating because it just like makes me nervous like the speed of the machine cool and then I think I'm gonna take the tape off since I have those two sides sewn So you can kind of like actually see where we're where we're headed here. Oh bye Isaac, see you later. I guess he's done with my shit since he's like not getting any more treats. Ooh, cool. Okay. So this is going pretty smoothly. I'm loving it. a good idea to sew across the bottom first and then up that one side and remove the tape so I can like see where everything's going um, okay. Boop. okay that should do it So we are cooking. This is looking good. I'm actually really fucking excited. I feel like this is gonna be so fucking good. Ooh, I'll have to make like a quiver or something too and like make some like fucking cosplay arrows. I mean, what good is an archery glove if, like, you don't even have arrows and shit? I'll have to figure out how to make, like, a cosplay bow. I won't, I don't even know where to begin on that one. Because I feel like arrows would be super easy because then you just have, like, dowels. And then you could just, like, I don't know, maybe fashion, like make like clay arrowheads and like just get some like craft feathers and like just notch out each end of the dowels i could probably work for some arrows and then i feel like a quiver could be pretty easy too to make um just like using the leather and just making a tube would be fucking easy and then basically having a belt that comes across but i don't, would not know where to begin on making like a bow tip sewn. I actually think I'm going to quickly 
after I finish sewing the fingertips on, I'm just gonna show you guys what it's looking like. Cause it's pretty like, it's starting to turn into a thing. I'm getting that point in my project where it's turning into a thing and I'm getting excited. Okay. One back stitch in there, and that should do it. Okay. This one's gonna be a little wonky. I don't think the stitches are gonna match up super good. tape off well enough anyway ooh, ooh. okay yeah I definitely sewed through the uh the tape a bit but whatever so I'll show you guys kind of where we're at so we have all these little fingertips sewn on I just sewed like a little pentagon shape there and then what we're gonna do probably should trim off these little pieces but then we're gonna go ahead and sew this edge here we'll probably do like one side first um, I don't think I'll need to tape this down just because I'm literally matching up the corners and the sides um, and then sew down the other side and then it'll make a little finger pocket so that's pretty cool um, I will need to trim these so I'll probably bring it over to the table and then we'll trim these bad boys. Bring my chat with me. Okay. Okay. So we'll go ahead, trim all these little strings. I'm like really excited. I feel like this is actually gonna be super cute. I don't know why I was like really that worried about it, but I feel like there's always that fear every time I'm doing a project that it's just like not gonna turn out like at all. And then once all these little strings are out of the way, we'll be able to, cause I'm sure it was kind of probably hard to see when I was showing you the first time, this edge and this edge are gonna like line up and then this edge is gonna line up and that makes a little little finger pocket. I am pretty excited. I don't know what to make next though. Cause I have, I have patterns for shoes, excuse me. However, I, Cannot find craft. Ooh, Salamo, what is up, dude? Hello back. Um, but I have patterns for some shoes, but I'm thinking I'm gonna need some like soles or like figure out how to make soles for the shoes. Cause I could use one like maybe two layers of leather or something, but I think there needs to be maybe something more substantial, um, like for the actual sole. And then, so I'll need materials for that. Um, or 
I could make one of those like girdles while well, the pattern says corset anyway. Um, but they're not really corsets because there's no like boning or fucking anything in them. So I'm not sure if I should do those because then I'm going to need, I'm going to need a leather hole punch grommets and then like a grommet like press thing for that. And then like that's more supplies. So I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of like stuff that I can do that like doesn't require me to like spend a bunch more money like right at this second so I'm not too sure what to make next anyway okay cool so now we have our little finger bits here and then we can just go ahead and then sew sew the sides down and then we can add on our little piece here and that's gonna be like that. I'm wondering, oh, it's gonna be more like that actually. I wonder actually, could I say actually one more fucking time? Uh, okay, so it will go like this instead and have that underneath, but then there will be the top stitching that goes around, right? Um, center up edge, glove placement within the lines. Yeah, so the glove part actually goes on top. And then we'll do that next. And then we can add on our little, this little guy that we painted right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and sew these little fingers down. All right, back to the table, people. Boop. Okay. And then I was thinking that I probably didn't have to like sew any of these or like not sew them down, but tape them down because I'm literally just making sure the edges line up. And I think I'm going to do it on the top of the glove so I can make sure the seam matches up as much as humanly possible. So let's go ahead. Ooh, this is gonna be kind of wonky and weird. Ooh, maybe I should tape it down. I'm gonna grab my tape. <laughs> it's a little, uh oh. It's a little slippery. A little more slippery than I thought it would be. So I'm just gonna tape part of it down. And I'm using tape instead of like pins um, because pins will puncture the leather and then I have a hole in my leather and that's just no fun. And then if I do tape, because I thought about doing um, binder clips, but I can't sew through binder clips obviously. So the tape is really nice to be able to actually sew through. And it's been working out pretty well so far, except I have to like tape it correctly. Okay. So let's just pray to the sewing gods that this stays lined up. Okay, wish me luck. And like, oh, all these tiny pieces are stressing me out. Okay. So we'll just have to go ahead and just start it. Okay. 
Wow, this is not boating well. It's like not lining up super great, but we'll see. Okay. Let's see how that piece turned out. I'm nervous. Um, yeah, turned out okay. I was like one stitch away from actually being at the end of that, but whatever. Okay. And then we'll tape down side number two. I'm thinking I'm gonna tape this in a couple places I think this time just so it all stays because that was kind of like weird uh, I might actually sew on the bottom this time and see how that turns out so I can get like all the way down to this like little whatever it is thing. Well, actually it might be better to start from the top, make sure everything is like lined up up here. Okay, going in for the other side. need to start a little bit further down so I can back stitch and I think that's good. All right. Let's, uh, so I'm looking into chat box, make the sound commands, and such on two on my stream. That's like such a good idea. Oh, dead inside, shared 100 bits. Thank you. Also, good morning. What? Oh no. How's the stream going? It's good. Um, so I made my first little finger pocket. I guess it's more like on this hand. Ooh, not too shabby. It's like really like not the prettiest thing <laughs> in the world, but it works. And I think all my finger lengths are good that I had to do. So Okay, let's go ahead and fucking finish this shit. Did the text to speech work? It did, um, but it took me like off guard and I didn't like it dissipated. So I was like, wait, what the fuck did it say? But yeah, it did in fact work. So thank you for helping me set that up. Uh oh, oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that tape on there and like not deal with it right now. Okay, let's do this side. Oh, you couldn't hear it over the stream? What the hell? Okay, let me try to figure that out. Okay, let's just take a little break and see what the fuck is going on. I must not have like an audio thing set up, which is kind of 
weird. So, oh, my desktop audio is in fact turned off. Okay, so let me change the properties because that is stupid. Okay, um, I think it'll, I guess it'll work now maybe, it should anyway. Because I have the properties for my speakers, which is how I'm listening. So that should do it. And then that like makes me sad because then nobody could hear like the alerts earlier. Stupid. Okay. Um, what the fuck, dude? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing. I'm not really sure how to test it super like quickly. Let's just Ooh. Test test test. Is this thing on? It worked. How fun. Thank you for the bits and helping me test it. <laughs> cool. How exciting. How fucking dope. I'm so excited that that worked. And I'm also really sad that like this whole time it wasn't working. Um, so yeah. But oh, also JD, um, I'm that chat bot. I'm like really like excited about. I downloaded it. So like she's ready to be like worked with. I just haven't um, put any of my um, like moved my commands over to chatbot so but yeah that's really exciting i hope to uh see it on your stream soon the like fucking cool chatbot stuff okay Okay, I was like super hoping to like finish this before, not like before dad woke up, but I mean, I guess he'll need time to like wake up because I don't know if we're gonna stream or not tonight, but I would like to if there's time. All right. want sounds my instance oh, okay is it like just an index of like alert sounds because I do actually have like a couple of ideas for like um, some audio clips that I want to use that I'm like actually like super excited about so I really want to set that up like as soon as possible okay I'm like worried the tape is gonna rip out the stitches on the other one. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I said it'd be a sound and a button to activate them. Huh. But also you can download them. Okay. Is it just like, uh, like generic sounds or something? Cause I'm looking for some very, very specific sound clips. start sewing this bad boy. like chatbot if you just like have the sound clip like on your computer you can just like pull it from your computer um 
So I guess like in that way, you can also just make your own on your own computer unless you don't have like, I guess, editing software. So I guess that would pose a problem. Okay, my light just went out, so I'm guessing it ran out of fucking battery. Lame. Okay, I guess I probably shouldn't pull out the tape just yet. Probably should wait till you guys can even like see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'm like super excited about fucking chatbot. At first I was like telling dad how like, oh, I don't think I want it. Um, you know, like, cause I was like, well, the only thing I feel like that's a benefit of chatbot is that you could use, um, the like sounds, like the sound alerts or whatever. But then I was like thinking about it and there's like a few sound alerts that I would like to have. So I'm gonna make the switch to chatbot. I think that'll be a lot better. Okay. This like second part of the like finger was very difficult to match up and get it to stay where you need it to stay. I'm actually like really excited. I think this is going to be the fucking probably the hardest part is just keeping these guys like matched up. And then we'll be done with the hardest fucking part. And we can just sew a couple more little things and we are done and I'm very excited. One more to go. These like kind of fit my fingers like perfectly. I'm very excited. Seeing a bunch of Barney Stinson sounds. Hell yeah. Fucking, I mean, I'd be surprised if you weren't getting Barney Stinson sounds. Ooh, look. I'm so excited. Fuck, I'm like freaking out. I guess I should probably prep some little tape pieces so I don't have to just like keep stopping and tearing them off. And then this one I could probably tear in half. Okay. I guess I could probably tear both of these in half. Um, I'm thinking, so from the movie, <laughs> I don't know if I want it to be like a surprise or not. Well, okay. I guess I already have the command for Halloween. And what I think I want to do for that is from the Nightmare Before Christmas, I want to have, um, when the mayor is like saying like, there's only 365 days until next Halloween when he's like all exasperated and shit. I think I want that to happen when there's the Halloween command. But then it'll be like the actual countdown for how many days until Halloween. But it'll just come with that audio clip. So that'll be really fun, I think. And then I have another one that I wanna do. Um, I actually also have an idea of another emote to make. I just like didn't have any ideas for emote, so I just like never like worked on it, but I have a good idea that I think could look nice. So I'll have to work on that guy. Got a lot of got a lot of plans for streaming. I'm very excited. Okay. I'm gonna scoot that over. Ooh, that was a little 
Too Fast, Too Furious. stuck. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I was bound to fuck up somewhere. <sighs> okay, well, I guess let's just see what happened. Yeah, I'm gonna have to resell that part, I think. For sure. God damn it. It, like, Got like stuck on something and then so it's like sewing off the edge of the finger piece. I was almost done. Okay, let me take all this tape off really quick so that doesn't like get stuck in there or anything. Um, okay. So we'll start from the inside. I think of the finger or the bottom. Okay. All right. So I think we are good. It just looks kind of fucking shitty, but whatever. It's fine. Um, getting DBZA sounds. South Park is next. Hell yeah. That's going to be so much fun, JD. Oh, fuck. I meant to do a hot dog man, too. I'll have to do that for next time. Okay, we just have one more side to sew down and then we are good to go. This is like truly the hardest part. It's just like hard to sew and like keep everything like lined up and shit. So. Alrighty. Fucking last one. That was a lot easier. Hopefully I didn't miss. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay, so let's go ahead, take off all of the tape, snip all the strings off, and then I'll try it on. I'm very excited. All we have to do is like the little wrist strap and the, um, the little buckle piece. Everybody calm down. Jesus Christ, dude. They're like freaking out. Okay. So, like I said, my... Whoops. That was a little too aggressive. My other light turned off, so we're just gonna have to make do. Alright, so... I think first step is to get all the tape off. And then... We can trim all of the little strings off. I just don't want to like pull any of the threads out. That would make me 
very fucking sad. All right. And then maybe, because like I said earlier, I wasn't like really sure what my next project should be. I'm wondering if maybe I should try to like find a pattern for a quiver and then um, try to make a quiver and then maybe like make some like little arrows or something, some like little crafty fake arrows so that I can put this archery glove to use or at least have it be like, I don't know, like a whole thing. Okay. And then this piece I think is like good to go. He's all dry. Um, I don't know if that'll hold better or worse or if it'll even matter than the D-ring, so we'll see. I just like couldn't believe that I couldn't find any fucking D-rings. Like what the hell? So dumb. All right, but I don't know, Hobby Lobby probably would have been my best bet, but then I'd have to like go into work earlier and I'd probably end up having to like, I don't know, fucking go to bed earlier, but that's not gonna happen, so. I do think that eventually I will have to go to Hobby Lobby though, because I would I think like to get the like leather punch so it'll like punch out holes and stuff um, so I can make like the girdles and um, those kinds of things that have like the grommets in them or like belts for example because you don't really want to like poke like an awl through it because then it creates a tear instead of like an actual round hole and that tear will just keep tearing which is like not good so I think I will eventually get a leather punch which will be really fun then we can do like grommets and all kinds of fucking cool stuff and like greaves and bracers and it'll just open up a world of possibilities for costume making ooh that one got kind of wonky there but Oh well, whatever. It's fine. All right. Um, JD, have you set up the chat bot already? Or are you like working on that right now? I'm like interested to know. Um. But yeah, I'm like really excited. This is gonna turn out so good. Wow, I really put a lot of tape on this one. Okay. Let's... Oh my gosh, um, I was just thinking about like people lurking just now. And um, last night on Neon's stream, I was like, oh, like, I'll leave a lurk. And I legitimately just, like, forgot my computer was, like, on. And I just, like, went to bed. And it was just, like, I left it on. Um, and I woke up. And I was, like, in someone else's stream. He was, like, playing Minecraft. I was like, how the fuck did I get here? Like, what in the hell? It's always, like, the most disorienting thing is, like, coming back to the stream and, like, being somewhere else stream wise anyway like I mean I was still in my fucking house but I just thought that was like kind of funny okay jeez this is like taking fucking forever this is no fun alright we are almost done just one more fucking piece of tape and then I can put my little fingers in here. All 
gosh, I feel like I've got a sneeze coming on. I apologize in advance. Oh, excuse me. All right, so we've got this little guy. Ooh, it, well, I guess I probably should take this ring off. It fits so good. I'm like really excited. And I was like so worried about shortening the fingers because they were for like, I don't know, really long fingered people. <laughs> Cool, I'm so excited. All right, let's trim up all these fucking four billion strings. And then we can add on our little wrist strap. And then our little buckle. And then I can like try it on for like reels. I'm kind of liking this like two stream finish a project situation. It's very, very pleasing. Is there like anybody left in chat? I feel like chat's dead. Did everyone just like lurk, lurk away? Okay. Um, I probably should have like started at one end and kind of like made my way around instead of like randomly in the middle. Can't tell what strings I've cut and which ones I haven't. Okay. I am like really excited. This is so cute. So here, the finding sounds. So I don't hear any everything you say. Oh, okay. Um, I was meaning to ask you if uh, you have like chatbot, if you're like working on that like right now. I'm assuming you are. Whoop. Um. I don't know what lurking is, but I'm a lurking. Um, so lurking, I guess, is um, when you leave your stream like open so that it's like your your account is like in the stream like chat or whatever, but you're not actually like there. So a lot of times like to support like streamers, people will leave a lurk. And um, it's so that they get the like viewers and stuff without the person like having to like be there and like be active. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So basically what it is is so that like, you're like, hey, like I'm supporting the stream, but I'm not here. So like, don't talk to me <laughs> basically because I won't respond because I'm not here. Like uh, Ghosty earlier said like, oh, I'm gonna lurk, like I'm heading to work. So like she can't watch the stream while she's at work, but she's like here in spirit in a way so that was your very long-winded fucking answer for a very short question um i was just thinking like wow this took so long using a sewing machine like i couldn't fucking imagine using this or sewing this using hand sewing that would take fucking forever but yeah, so that's what lurking is anyway. Um, and then I have like a really fun thing. If you do exclamation point lurk, if you like type that into chat, um, it'll say like a cool little thing. It doesn't like do anything. It just says a thing. So um, it's like really fun. Um, also there's like chat commands too. See, isn't that so fun? So it doesn't like actually do anything to you. It just like says a thing, but ooh, look at this guy. I'm very excited. Cool. And I also have like other chat commands. Uh, so like, let me see if I can CMD, and those are like commands, so you could do like exclamation point Halloween, 
and then it does that. Or uh, you could do eight ball and say, is Halloween the best holiday? And then it gives you an answer. So there's like fun little things. I don't have like nearly as many um, commands as I would like to have, but that's something I'm definitely gonna work on is like adding like more fun stuff. And I'm also going to add this chat bot, which when you like type in like certain stuff into chat, it'll like play a sound. So I'm really excited about that too. Okay. Um, I guess I'll probably need to tape this guy down. I need to find my markings. Okay. I guess I could, pr I mean, does it really fucking matter? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so it's like pretty fun. Um, I know on Dead's channel, he has like a lot, a lot of like commands and it's really fun. <laughs> Eight ball has spoken. Isaac is not a good boy. I feel like that's too funny. He has been, I don't know. I feel like lately he's been kind of a butthole. So Eight ball isn't really wrong, is he? I don't know, he's just like fucking jacked up because it's like getting fucking cold as shit outside. So he's like high, like especially high strung. More high strung than usual. Um, okay. So the plan is I'm gonna go ahead and just sew all around here. And then I guess I could probably just like loop this bad boy on here and then there's the that mark and then I'm gonna go ahead and sew like along here I'm gonna see if I can sew as much of a box as like possible um Okay, so I think that's about lined up and then we'll tape that guy down so I can just kind of like sew it all at once and then it'll be all complete. Our little glove will be done. Super cute. Okay, let's go ahead and get to getting. Alrighty. I'm like really fucking stoked. We're like, like five minutes away from being finished with this glove. Okay. Um, so I think I'll just start here at the bottom. Where the fuck? Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. I'm like pretty excited that this thing is like just about finished. this with my fingernails so I have like an actual guide. I think I could probably do one more stitch, I think. Yeah, I think that one more stitch was a good idea. Take 
that tape off because it's fucking coming off anyway. can definitely see how D-rings would have been a lot fucking easier. Okay. Well, hopefully this will work out all right. I think my dreams of sewing a box have been thwarted. It doesn't really like need a box sewn on it because it's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the finishing touches. I'm so excited that we're like all done with this. I like really cannot believe like how quickly we did that one. I mean, to be fair, the other one was like pretty fast too. Cool, cool, cool. I'm so excited. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. That is all sewn on. Fucking dope. Look at this guy. He's all sewn on too. Oh yeah, I forgot there was tape back here. I'm excited to put this baby on. I mean, this I don't think is practical for like everyday use, like my little pouches, but it could be fun for, I don't know, like wearing costume. I mean, obviously for wearing costumes, but just like, you know, day to day when I'm like wearing just, you know, casual costumes at home and stuff which literally never happens, but okay. Boop, boop, boop. Cool. And then is there a string attached? There sure is. Boop. Okay. Now we just need, I think these guys snipped off and then I think those are all good to go. Okay. So here we fucking go. Let's see how well it turned out. I think it turned out good. I'm gonna take off my watch actually. I don't wanna ruin the illusion that I'm an archer from the medieval times. Oh, my wrist is so tiny too. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Whoa, Matilda May, thank you for the follow. What is up? How is it going? I'm glad you could be here for this momentous moment. Oh, Jesus. I need like a second person. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Hello, I'm eating cake. Ooh, fun. What kind of cake are you eating? Is it like birthday cake? Just like for funsies cake. Oh, geez. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So there's like a lot of extra, 
oh my god, look at this. It's like, <laughs> I fucking should have like scooted this over. I fucking knew it. Let's see if I can get this like a hair tighter. God, I just have like tiny fucking baby people hands. Okay. Cool. Look at that. I feel like, I don't know how kosher it is to have this like a long ass fucking strap hanging down. But yeah, I don't know. I think it turned out pretty fucking cool. Now I'm ready to do some fucking archery. Um, my grandpa baked me, pa baked me a cake and put Sour Patch Kids in it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, firstly, you have a dope-ass fucking grandpa. Um, secondly, I'm sorry about your tailbone. That had to have fucking hurt. I hope you get better soon. Um, yes, Ashley, I did in fact miss you. You got here just in time to see the finished product of this fucking glove. My ring finger is a little, a little, like, long, but I think that's probably okay. <laughs> Ashley, why don't you ever give me answers? Eight ball might be, like, on a cool down. I don't really know. But this is fucking dope. My little fucking painted thing turned out pretty good. Um, yeah, that's pretty fun. I wonder if I should add, like... Wow, that's, like, really fucking long. I have the tiniest hands in the world. Yeah, this is, like, fun, though. I'm loving it. It feels like, ooh, there's like a good quarter of an inch on my ring finger. I'm so fucking excited. Um, doctor said it'd be 8 to 12 weeks. Holy jeez. <laughs> but now you get to binge some Asian dramas. Hell yeah. Um... I'm so glad you were able to as well, Fifi. Oh, damn it, Ashley. I forgot you couldn't fucking see anything. I'm so sad about that. <laughs> um, anyway, you made it for the finished uh, product, but you won't be able to see it. So maybe I'll post like a picture um, on Discord so you can like see it. Um, you know what I mean? I don't know is the strap I mean I know like Ashley you can't see but I'm like wondering if the strap like hanging down is like too long because I could always cut it shorter but then I don't want it to be like too short I don't know I feel like I could put a little loopy on here like cut it a little bit like shorter so it like goes up to here have to cut off like a good two inches <laughs> um maybe it's trying to tell you that you're in fact the eight ball holy shit dude what the fuck dude um you into tarot the picture popped up thought it was a tarot card that is correct i am actually into tarot um i am not like super great at reading but i do <laughs> i try um but yeah i like tarot and I like that whole, like, not only do I like the tarot for what it is, but I like the whole, like, occult aesthetic as well. I guess I could probably put this on, like, chat. Like, I'm sure people don't want to see me just, like, play with my fucking gloved hand. Thank you, Ashley. I'm so glad you think the, um, I'm so glad you think it looks perfect. I'm, like, fucking excited. This is cool. Oh my gosh, and I have my, like, little belt bag guy and my little archery glove. I'm, like, fucking ready to go fight some medieval crime. Um. Alright. Bye, Fifi. Love you. Miss you, too. See you later. I hope you have a good night. Um, Matilda May, not super great either, but it's super healing. Yeah, I feel like all of my cards, every time I read them, are always calling me out of my shit. So, 
that's always fun. But yeah, I'm like fucking excited. Okay. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to wrap this stream up because I do need a little snack. Um, I'm getting hungry. We've also been going for two and a half hours. So there is that. Um, probably gonna post some pictures of this guy around the internet. I'm very excited about him. He's pretty fun. Um, I feel like there should be like a like a palm strap or something. Maybe not. I guess that doesn't really make sense. Anyway, um, I think <laughs> go eat. I will. I ate like before I went grocery shopping, but now I'm hungry again. So I'm probably gonna go eat a hot dog. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, Anyway, uh, the next stream, I don't think I'll be streaming Wednesday because I'm, again, going to have some homework to do because the, whoa, ultra chicken fire. <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you for the follow. What a name. How's it going, ultra? Just in time for the end of the stream. Um, so on Wednesday, like I was saying, I won't be able to... Um, stream just because I've got a lot of homework to do and I've got some like just other internet work to do um however Friday and Saturday I'll be streaming um same time same place so be able to catch you guys quite fine good I'm glad to hear it hello golden <laughs> you poor soul you've you've shown up for the end of the stream I'm wrapping it up here. Um, I know you're south of the equator. So the times that I stream are probably going to be a little bit wonky. Um, I guess that doesn't really matter. It's like not this way. It's this way. What am I fucking saying? I'm losing my mind. I need to go eat. Um, but yeah, Golden, um, just keep an eye out probably on my Twitter Instagram on the deads discord and then I'm gonna try to keep my um, stream schedule updated like on Twitch so you'll be able to like see when I'm planning on actually streaming on Twitch where you know it should be so um, but yeah so no stream Wednesday originally I was going to stream then I know I had like posted that on like YouTube but changed my mind we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch and I have homework to do so um, but yeah, is there anybody, is there anybody out there to raid potentially? Is anybody streaming right now? Let's see if I can type with this thing. Twitch. Um, let's see. Ooh, we could say hi to Neon. How does that sound? Shoot her a, a raid. Say, hey, hi, how's it going? I feel like she deserves it. Okay, so I'm gonna set up this raid. Oh, I can't, this glove is not gonna be like easily taken off. Okay, so I do want to say Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, again, I'll be streaming on Friday and Saturday, so we'll be doing a new project. I don't know what I'm making yet, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, anyways, you guys are fucking diggity dope. And okay, caffeine, hot dog, hot dog next time. Um... I'll have a hot dog command. I'm sorry. I don't know why I don't have a hot dog command. Okay, so we are ready to raid Neon. Let's say hey, give her some love, and I will see all of you guys um, later. Bye, guys.